tol. Catch you down. Down three, two, one, and let's go. So this is Yakuza Zero. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I worked really hard pressing the X button there. Um, this is a. This came out uh, 2017 in English, a little bit earlier in Japanese. It's a prequel to game to the Yakuza series. So welcome to the distant past year of 1986. Yeah. Everything in this game has a wonderful 80s aesthetic, and it's amazing. Um, in most Yakuza games, you play Kiryu, and that's what that character TSX will be playing as today, tonight, this morning. <laughs> time. I don't know what time what it is. What is time? I haven't slept yet. <laughs> Same. <laughs> so, so yeah. th this game has a really convoluted plot that we're going to skip most of. <laughs> yeah, so just as an FYI, this is a single player game, but the co op one is that, yeah, I'll be playing Kiryu's story. Uh, Rocket will be playing Majin's story. We'll be trading off between chapters when it's relevant. So you can see he's got a pager. That's how 80s it is. No phones. And dramatic cutscene text. Um, so basically, the starting of, the start of this game is Kiryu's like 20 years old. He's just joined the Yakuza. It's what he's always wanted to do. Which is funny because he then spends every successive game trying to get out of the Yakuza and having to be brought back in. And that's um, seven games um, total. Right? Yeah, every single game. Here you come back to the Tojo clan. No. Uh, and he's just set on a death collection run, he's beaten up some guy, and now he's just going to hang out with his friend and have a good time. But first he's going to beat up some guy that's harassing a defenseless guy, because despite being a Yakuza, Kiryu is the type of guy who will help little old ladies across the street. And that's basically what half is. Side quests are in this game. In fact, he barely spends any of the game being a Yakuza. <laughs> each, ca uh, each character has four total fighting styles. We only get access to three because the fourth one for each character is locked behind a really long side quest chain. Kiryu uh, starts with Brawler style. It's a fairly straightforward, you know, punchy. Dodge, you can pick up weapons occasionally. And you'll only see the style, it's basically the first two chapters. Yep. It would have been nice if they bunched up together, but alas. Oh well. It's a tutorial, no one cares. So we're going to be skipping nearly every cutscene. Uh, 216 cutscenes are skipped throughout this run. That's one of them, whoops. Ikuzo. So we're supposed to be following Nishiki, but we know where we're going, so we're just going to run ahead. Uh, so there is uh, an invisible stamina gauge, which I just screwed up on already. Nice. Yeah. The run! The run! <laughs> so what, with, uh, what Kiryu, well, what PSX is doing first is Kiryu and Nishiki are going to go karaoke. And thanks to everyone's generosity, we are going to be singing karaoke in this first cutscene. Well, after we beat up some drunk guys. Yeah, because otherwise it, you would normally just skip the karaoke songs. Cause, you but know, that's no fun. That's no fun. Not in a Yakuza game. Unfortunately, these guys have really long animations that can't be skipped. So it's got a mash X for a while. There's also another tutorial, because that first one was basic fighting tutorial. This is the tutorial for heat moves. There's a salt shaker here, isn't there? There is a salt shaker. All right. Is my microphone actually on? I can't tell. <laughs> mm. Get it covered by this one. Is it? Uh -huh. Oh, are we in the wrong places? <laughs> So they're going to teach us heat moves. We need to sober these guys up and carry his way of dealing with problems just by punching them until they stop being problems. Enjoy that. Enjoy that. Soul shaker. Come here. No. 
That's he's gonna assault this guy. No, he's not. That's he's not what I wanted. Him. Well, I'll do it in a sec. I just want to use that. There we go. Yeah. He's just being assaulted. So that was completely unnecessary, but we just want to show it off the front. Pretty much. Uh, why did you get covered? This is like the longest this tutorial has ever lasted. Yay. I swear so, he just spawned. The other thing about this game is that it just leaks money. Because money is used to upgrade, and because both of Kiri and Martin's <coughs> long side quest chains, ooh, I feel like this is barely even on anyway, involve getting lots of money. All about that money. Which we'll see some of, but not very much of. Because there's no time. <coughs> we ain't got no time for that. So now we've beaten up those guys. So let's let's can't. actually go sing some karaoke. No, let's learn about how to upgrade Oh, abilities. yeah, I'm sorry. The aging foreign is in here and he's going to be like, Hey, boy! Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? No. No. So you're supposed to upgrade, but I don't but just start actually, it and buy. Yeah, you don't need to upgrade tutorial. that style because he's barely going to be using it. He's going to be using mostly a style he's going to get in the next chapter called Beast Style. Oh, chapter five. Oh, wait, isn't that next chapter? No, sorry, it is next. It is yeah, next chapter. It's tap two. Whoops. It's I, I I play this game. I swear. <laughs> skip one. I think it's skip two. No, no. You can do this one. I can do this one, yeah. So, so here's the fir his first of the uh, donation incentives. And we're going to be singing Judgment. Because Judgment is good and it's got to get everyone hyped up. Feel free to sing along. Welcome Nikai is great, but... You know the words. And by you know the words, I mean they'll be up there. In Japanese. Crack it. <laughs> Yakuza is a serious crime game. <laughs> about Japanese men doing crimes and singing. Wow, I'm very bad. Don't worry, you're hearing the song. Input lag. Oh, that's perfect. Thank you, Murph. Whoa, whoa. Justice will break the law, breaking the world for what's <laughs> Did you get that this game's in the 80s yet? <laughs> Maybe I should practice the song. <laughs> Judgment! <laughs> hey, who's that on the keyboard? Oh no, because if you play it later, then you get the other. Then you get Kashiwagi. Kashiwagi, but because we haven't met Kashiwagi yet, it's a random guy. Yeah. So if someone needs Kiwi is on the backup, if he sings <coughs> it, Kiri is on the backup. And we'll skip some more dialogue. So so it's like there's a main story to this game, but this game has so much side content. Like what what's some of the what's some of the fun things you can do in this game? We've got karaoke. We've got dancing. We've got going to telephone clubs and calling up cute girls. <laughs> We've got darts. We've got pool. Are we going to be linking up with these girls? No, that's... It's a little bit too loose for this, char <laughs> this charity stream. <laughs> oh, is we got some? Yeah, go. Go nuts. The first two chapters are kind of boring. It's just skipping cutscenes at the moment, anyway. We have a quick donation from Merck, who gave $5. First you do the thing, and then you go. <laughs> Best of luck on the run. Money goes to Looper 2 Jelly. Yeah. Jelly. Wait, if I have a paper, that means we're going to see girls now. 
Yes. No, sadly. The cute girl at the office uh, of the Dojima family. Um, Who's going to look like not a girl because it's not a girl. I, I should Spoilers. point out that we are raising money for Beyond Blue, which is a great Australian charity to uh, help people suffering from anxiety and depression. And we have already raised a massive amount this year. So thanks to everyone for being so generous. It's awesome. Um, we've got a few more, we've got a lot of donation incentives coming up that need to be met. Um, I don't know what the status of Lufia 2 Any% percent is, but Lufia 2 is coming up next and Any% percent is hilarious to watch. And... Uh, Are you we've kidding? Got, we've got a name war. <laughs> okay, so that's the earliest point in the game where you can actually get a random encounter. That was so really bad luck. That was really horrible luck. Um, and also a big war for the name of the fire, which we have put to jelly, but if you would like something else, it's five characters. Um, you can put whatever you'd like in, really, within reason. Um, oh, well, extra money. Yeah. yeah, so that'll be coming up after this, very early in the morning. <laughs> Um, those incentives, the name character, Jelly is currently the only in, uh, one in the bid war, and th that closes at the start of the run. The any percent is $15.90 out of 75 needed, and that closes at the end of the run. So, we were just out around Kamurocho, we're going to leave it, we're going to go see the Dojima family, because it turns out that the guy we beat up for a, a debt collection at the start of the game, yeah, he's dead. He did. And Kiryu needs to go clear his name because Kiryu was the last person to see him. And, but Kiryu didn't shoot the guy who was found with a gunshot wound. And so he's like, well, I have to leave the Yakuza, you know, in chapter one. Chapter one. In order to clear my name. Called Yakuza. All right. So here's that loan shark that we didn't see at the start. Yeah, we didn't see him because we were skipping. And don't worry, we're still not going to see him. Anyway, hey here's our friend boy. again. Hi. Oh. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to learn the second fighting style, which I'm also not going to use. Yeah, he's going to use this style a little bit just to get around places quickly, but apart from that, he's barely going to use it. <laughs> My voice gives me super strength. So, so, to learn fighting styles in this game, Kiryu looks, looks at a guy fighting, and Majima as well. And he just reacts after he sees the moves being pulled off. And it's great. That's, that's rad! rad. <laughs> He's like, man, that's so cool. Sure, you can. So Rush Style is the very fast movement one. We're going to be getting the equivalent of that for Majima and using it a lot. But for Kiryu, it's mostly just used for moving quickly. <laughs> So he's like, hey, you saw how this guy did it. Now yeah. it's your turn, Kiryu. Yep, you always, get, you, you always get a tutorial right after See. learning a style just to teach you how to use it. And by teach you how to use it, I mean they basically just give you a couple of combos and then you go for it. Well, the thing is with co op, it's kind of just our gimmick because. Um, Especially having to do it overnight. Having one of us do the whole run is probably a bit much because we're old. Um, I mean, look at my hair. So, we decided to make a co op thing where PSX plays all of Curious sections and I play all of Majima's sections. So, it's not really a true co op, but it's just kind of a fun little thing. Also, I've totally never seen that heat move before. Already, it never happened before. That's amazing. We in there. This bodes well. Uh. Kiryu constantly spends these games trying to convince people he's not actually in the Yakuza and they don't believe him because just look at this guy. Yeah. Yes. Mm. 
He also had a line that I would repeat, but it's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, we can't repeat that. Can't repeat that in a Christian Congo. <laughs> There's some great things in this game. Same it is right. MA, though, so we're allowed to play it. In this country. In this country. Oh, he's about to run out of puff. So there's a stamina meter for each character. It's invisible, though, so you kind of have to rely on audio and visual cues for it. Um, you'll just hear them start to get a little bit... Like, um, you'll just hear them start to get a bit out of breath. And you'll just have to hold up the running. Skip this one. I don't think so. Um, no, you can't. We can this. upgrade it to basically infinite, but we won't get enough. Uh, won't get enough completion points. You get points completion for that. points for doing like side quests or doing like various little achievements, which you can use to upgrade your abilities or upgrade things like your stamina. Uh, used for the main side quests. Um, we'll get enough to upgrade the stamina. But a couple of times. A couple of times, but not all the way. Yeah. Bye, Rush style. Oh, no. Ooh. Try to grab this thing. This is actually not what you normally do. By the way, Kiryu, uh, Kazuma Kiryu has never killed a man. Canonically. Yeah? I can confirm having seen all seven games, yes. Then, then the, there's, they, that, they there's that one, and I think it's one where he grabs a waiter who then gets shot by another guy. Maybe <laughs> we had to do it. Oh, 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 oh. No, the best is when you find out that Majima has also never, canonically, never killed a man. Majima who wields a knife. Excuse me. Also, it's Japan. They don't use guns, mostly. Sometimes. There's a few annoying gun users, but for the most part, they use their fists. I'm not buying booze yet, am I? I'm keeping it out. No. Uh, you do it after the next trying to pay for it. Oh, right. We're kind of, yeah. When you get to the next, uh, on the, go to the Cosmo <coughs> family office. So, we got to find a pay phone. There's one, like, right behind us here, but we're not going to go to that one. We get railroaded over here. Yep. It's like find a pay phone, but you don't get to choose. You have to go to this specific place. Oh, don't forget the drink. Is that 10, up, only if it's 10,000. I think, is it 10,000? I think, yeah. I think it's 10,000. So there's these dream machines, and they have various <coughs> amounts of money on them, like 10K, 100K, or a million. Um, there is a chance that if he goes to one and it's 10k, or he can get an item, that means he has to, um, Although, doesn't have to take an extra shopping trip. Consider we stop at Dog Kiri anyway to make sure. Do it anyway. RNG. RNG. Okay, oh, it's just not even going to spawn. Nice, nice. Uh, hello. Thanks, game. Uh, so make sure you go to the shopping. There's a, there's a section in the next chapter where he has to buy alcohol for a bunch of homeless men because that's just that what kind of game this is. That's what you do. It's best to do this one now because if he comes in later, it will start a side quest where he befriends the person working at the counter. This is just potato soup, isn't it? Uh, it is the sweet potato soup and the malts. And the malts. So all the five homeless men ask for five different drinks. They're all uh, very specific. Okay, please, no. And Would weird, like sweet potato sochu. One just wants beer. Which is malts. Which yeah. Is enough. They can also buy Carlsberg. Yeah. What's this stuff? Go to the Carlsberg family office. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, even though this is the GTA go. block, this game has no cars. <laughs> You will be running everywhere except for the time where you can take cabs because that's like Catch the fast ride. Travel. Look at that glorious food. That looks so good. Buy food. Sometimes Majima is just in the back of the car waiting. <laughs> well, in the next game. Alright. So this is one of the long. This is actually one of the longest chapters in the game. Here's our boy in this tree. So if anyone's actually played Yakuza 1 or the upgraded version Kiwami, 
they'll know what happens with Nish Cave. <laughs> that sworn brother who will never turn on us ever. Spoilers never. for a, like 18 year old, 13 year old game. Nishki is the villain of one. Wow. But in this wow. game, it's just your brother. I still feel like my microphone is not really picking up much. <coughs> Alright, so this is the first real gauntlet section of the game. Um, it'll just be six sections of goons over and over. This one specifically, keep an eye on him. So each time you think he's down, he just comes back. No, I didn't want that. I want the table. Stop, stop giving me people. Oh, fine. Let's grab this one. Here's a table. That oh. happens every time. All right. It's gone now. Yeah, all right, people. Bubba. I can't remember. All right, so the most important guy's gone. There. Now oh, we have a cat. How long do you guys have a seat? So I have upgraded it. Um, uh, no. Save all your upgrades for these. I'm pretty sure. Alright, doors open. Double checking. Hello, people. You can have a seat. You can have a seat. <laughs> Sit down. Never nope. killed a man. Pretty much. Yeah, but he's not dead. He's not dead, <laughs> dead. I'm just gonna grab that. Yeah, okay, right. this guy, this guy straight up just can't die. And the best thing about this game is because you just get money from enemies, it's just always flying out of them. Unnecessary heat moves, but... Don't worry, he comes back like five times in this door. Also, he's gonna help us go through this door. Thank yeah. You. Thank you, Nathan. In, in the Yakuza, you don't open doors normally. What you do is you throw goons into the doors. Oh crap, uh, I need food. Hold up. Yeah, that heat move didn't work so well. Anyway, he wants to use his couch, that's alright, I'm gonna use it on him. My couch! My couch, now. He's back. Hi. It's your nader again. And... Stay down. Stay down, but he won't go. Spoilers. Wow, spoilers. Spoilers for something you will see in like a minute. Uh, oh no, the guy downstairs is good. Oh well. He tried. Anyway, we're gonna get spawned upstairs for getting the final kill. Yeah, so see, fine. you just magically teleported up the stairs and use him to open the door. Guess he's gonna show up again. Hi. There he is! Um, hello. I, I still would like a table. Here you go. Have a table. Oh! oh. See? That's what he's fun. He knows sold it. What is this? Whoops. So we're gonna go outside. <laughs> so, there's two guys out here. You can sit down, sir. So, ooh, collateral guy. Collateral damage. Come see my new movie. Come see my new movie. Collateral damage. That door is, is not the one you want. This oh, is yeah. not the final chapter. That door is also Oh, the door's blocked. locked. What are we going to do? So, if a door's blocked, what's your first instinct? Is it to jump through the window? And then you find the guys just, you know, taking a leak. Frantically putting their <laughs> zipping their trousers up. It's fine. It's fine. As long as they don't punch you, it's fine. Yeah, Kiri is beating them up for using not using good hygiene. Hey, guess who? Hello. He brought a knife. He has more health 
this time. Somehow, despite, despite the fact that we beat him up like four times already, that just made his health bar even stronger. It is, and he shows up later in the game! <laughs> well, not in speedrun. Actually, we don't see him in the speedrun. So. Well, you'll see him... Well, you kind of see him at the start of that cutscene. I don't want to use my heat move because I want to retain my aura so that the following boss fight at the end of this chapter is a little easier. Yanada, please stop blocking. Wow. Probably going to need Yeah, it's a good thing I picked up that fight. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh. Take a drink. Here he's not done with him yet. Such a such a harsh kick, he almost throws himself out the window. By the way, he still never killed a man. <clears throat> yep. Whoops. Never killed a man. <laughs> yeah, that was it. <laughs> Down. So now we're having this dramatic cutscene where they're like, Kyrie, you have to give us your pinky finger if you're leaving the Yakuza. And he's like, what? No, I don't have to. And this other guy is all like, this guy was like, oh, but I was taking charge. And then that big boss comes in and goes, all right, well, this dude has to give me his finger now. So he does, and then he just rips off his shirt because that's the Yakuza way. If you're getting prepared for a boss fight, you've got to rip off your shirt in one fluid movement. Um, I was expecting to throw away the mic there. Yeah, that's like, that's how you know you've made it as a Yakuza. If you can take off your shirt without like any, just like in one movement like that, then you know. Apart from that, this is just a, but yeah. So now he's like, I need to fight you, Kiryu, for my honor. Cool. Now for the fact. Hello, Kiryu, that's... A lot of the boss fights will have a QTE partway through. It works sp uh, spectacularly well for one late mod in the fight. Why does that not let me do a DC spell? Oh, whatever. And I'll also, bosses have their own aura. Which will mean they'll just actually stand there and take hits, so you can't stun them as much. Yeah. In theory. Also, get used <coughs> to this guy and his theme, you'll see it a lot. This seems pretty great. It is currently my ringtone. Is that gonna do it? Nah. Yeah! Uh -huh. You have to believe. So that will be in chapter one. Yep, so that's chapter one done. Well, when I skip these cuts. Uh, yeah, there's a, there's a couple of guys who are just there. They're like, we are the three commanders, and your dad's in prison, carrier. Your adoptive father, I guess. And he is the other one. It's a five and a half hour run. Now we don't need to save. Yeah, we got, you got saves. In case something goes Spoilers. wrong. Spoilers. <laughs> yeah, we'll just, we'll just make this into San Andreas 2 and just load saves. <laughs> Put in cheat codes. This didn't even have cheat codes. So... This is where Tachibana shows up, right? Yeah, Tachibana at the end of yeah, chapter so one. Yeah, so unfortunately goes. we missed a cutscene of Kiryu in the shower. So, sorry ladies. And Jin. Oh, and Jin. At least we know it's working. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Run down. Whisper. Um, I don't do any more shots until afterwards. Oh, no. Don't get away from me. So, um... Here he gets found by this guy, Tachibana, who's all like, I'm an amazing real estate broker. I can control the whole town, but I need you to join with me, Kiryu. Kiryu is like, what? I don't know what's going on. I'm just a 20-year-old dude. But you seem pretty legit. But now you have to find out information on them. And that NBC just made it out of existence. Excuse me. Anyway, here's Kashiwari so, yeah, staring, he's staring deep into the soul. Mm. <coughs> Pretty sure I can skip after that. Yeah, it's a can't skip him staring deep into your soul. I really don't. I 
I got past it. Whoop. Weird. He needs to be so barely appearing in this game. Or in the speed run anyway. It's probably good to skip this game. Uh, no, it's mash. <coughs> so you gotta go. So now it's like, well, it's been a really long day. I beat up a guy. I got framed for murder. I had to leave the Yakuza. Oh, who's this imposing figure? This guy's real. I'm gonna go home and sleep. And then it's like, oh no, there's this really tall guy who's <coughs> gonna be a roaming boss. So, yeah. This is Mr. Shakedown. Mr. Shakedown is the stuff of my nightmares in practice because I have had times where a 10 second segment <coughs> has turned into a two minute segment because Mr. Shakedown would not get out of my way and I had to dodge him frantically. So I could fight him or I'm just gonna go grab him and then he can do that and then he can stomp me. Oh, you gotta grab him, nice. So this is a fight you are supposed <coughs> to lose. Ready time now. That's enough now, yep. Well, no you don't salt that storm. but you take it down to like low. So the concept of Mr. Shakedown is, uh, if you find him on the street and end up fighting him, if you lose that fight, instead of, you know, game over, and he just steals all your money. And that's kind of an important point for us. Yeah, not really in this speedrun after a certain point, but in the game, it's like, you generally like having money. I like money. Do you like money? Thank you. And anyway. then Kiri is all like, I'm tired, I'm gonna head home. Yeah, so I'm going to run back down here because there's a taxi I can just catch to the other side of the city. That you works. are forced to do the Mr. Shakedown tutorial. Oh, then we can hunt. Okay, nope. Specs of attack. That was the right one. Nice. Didn't oh, good. I was actually kind of worried it wasn't. It was a very expensive taxi ride. <coughs> So there's a lot of sub-stories in this game. We're going to try our best to avoid them because that's just going to waste a bit of time, but I can guarantee you we will run into some by complete accident. Yes, accident. Yeah. Well, one of them we have to do. Oh, the other's we probably Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. The stress. It's perfectly timed, running out of stamina. Uh, the others will be uh, just us making mistakes. <coughs> and they will happen. There's some amazing sub-stories that I wish we could show off, but there's not enough time. Um, my, fa my favorite is the Dragon Quest 3 one, where a little boy is lining up to get his copy of Dragon Quest Quest 3. It gets stolen by a, a teenage boy who gets it stolen by a college student who gets it stolen by a Yakuza who keeps buying, stealing, stealing it for his kid, who is the boy who got stolen from in the first place. It's and then there's also teaching a dominatrix to be confident. We can't show that one. <laughs> well, we could, but then you have to show And then the there's street. hanging out with Michael Jackson. I mean, Miracle Johnson. Miracle Johnson. And starring in the Thriller music <coughs> video clip. Yeah, Stephen Spining. So we're supposed to gather information on uh, Tachibana Real Estate. You gotta go to the shop. Yep. But we're gonna go shopping first. You're supposed to talk to three different sets of people to be told, hey, you gotta go to this cafe over here, but we're just gonna go to the cafe over here. Get some of that. I ain't got time to talk to people. Uh, uh, you okay. want tea. Uh, um, sake. Ooh, sake. Sake. And you want... Confection box. The confection box. I think that's it, isn't it? Yeah. I believe that is it. Because <laughs> uh, the last so purchase is uh, Don Quixote. Now get feet style. Feet style. Oh. Uh, and then you want to upgrade <laughs> after the tutorial. Yep. So... In going to this area that we're going to get railroaded to, or would be if we were talking to people, um, we are going to, Bakiri is going to learn his third style, which will be the one that PSX will be using for most of the run. So it is I the slow, heavy hitting one, but God, does it hit heavy. And it is the one where you get to pick up bicycles and throw them at people. Oh, shit. This one this one. This is always fun. I think it's the next three up. Oops. Wrong turn. Bowling alley. Oh, shit. It's in the bowling alley. Oh, right. I was avoiding a side story, funnily enough, but that actually took much longer than what I should have just done. There it is. So. Isn't this Tatsu? She's really cool. Badass lady. <laughs> so dead. 
Hey, boy. Hey, boy. If you find out if you do a side story that this guy is an American, it would seem to be a little bit more. Play job. So, this style is all about just grabbing objects off the screen. And but wait, there's more. Them, but also do that. Buy arms. And buy everything else. That's rad. There is a bug. There is signature weapon. It's like, wow, how convenient. Some goons have shown up for you to test yeah. your new yeah. moves on. Yeah. Oi. Oi. Oh. Yeah. 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 And also, each style has its own music theme, which is really cool. Before we switch, let's go abilities. Beast mode, uh, power power so one, one, and just heat retention, damage. That one, and, and then one the one to the right. Fish. So that's where all our hard earned money goes. Um, switch to this style. So this is really annoying because you have to drop the weapon just to do this three times. But normally you see holding the weapon and you do it as long as possible. Hey look, now you're just gonna take it like a man. Oh, that was really easy. Oh, this guy's really helping us out. Alright, so I'm gonna pick this up. And... Oh. Wow, they're really not cool, though. So if you're you lucky, see how good beast style is. If you're lucky, you can do that entire thing in one swing of the sign, but... Yeah. We weren't so lucky today. Can't see that, whoops. What's that? Uh, BW Yakuza. Oh yeah, right, we're going to the cafe that we were supposed to go to. Yes. There's a pier in this game. You barely have reason to go there except for upgrading beast salt and fishing. Yeah. Oh yeah, fishing is another thing you can do in this yeah. game. Fishing. Bowling as well. I really wish we could show off the bowling because there's one amazing side quest, which you may have seen images of online, but involves a prize for doing really well at bowling. That may or may not be a chicken. Same nugget. Alright, so I'm gonna go grab this. Oh, oh yeah, bye. Why did he block that? Oh, whatever. Sit down. I probably should have just hate moved him. And he just gave you like 2 million yen. Yeah, it was very nice of him. So generous. Thanks for the money, Holmes. This ain't over. So we're learning that the Tachi's out of real estate's a little bit suspicious. Shockingly. Um, I start seeing what this one Um, run. Yep. Yeah. Oh, whoops. Yeah, it's just taking a breather. Oh yeah, and you can also go to Sega High Tech Play to play a game, which we'll see in a bit later. Yep. But not for the reason you were saying. They've added in, um, in, in Yakuza 6 you can play Puyo Puyo, just straight up. And Virtual Fighter. Oh, why was he bad dudes? Uh, I'm terrible at Puyo Puyo. I just I play Virtual Puyo Fighter. Puyo. Thank you for despawning the enemy's cutscene. It's just homeless men hanging out because apparently Tachibana Real Estate sent homeless <coughs> men to... To squat places. 
So this game is literally all about real estate. You'll find out there's exact there's one piece of real estate that this game centers around. And in fact, this entire series centers around when you think about it. Which I'll bring up more about later. Hello, Nobunaga. He's Oda. We call him Nobunaga because it makes sense. Nobunaga Oda. <laughs> Story checks out. So we just saw a guy get offered a lot of money to get out. Now the squad of the rules kind of moving on because they've done their job. Um, now they can repurpose that land for real oh. estate. You go to the park up north yeah. first round. Oh. Pretty sure. Uh, Oh, yeah, you go to the park up north and then they tell you, hey, no, go to the other park and then they catch yeah. a taxi, go to, go to Don Quixote. Go to Peace Street entrance, go to Popper Shore Street to get the whiskey and then Don Quixote. Find the homeless man. Find the homeless man. Oh, really? Nope. No. no. We'd rather not have random encounters, but... Wow! Sick dog! Men in black. Bye. Just shoulder bar. So we're getting more random encounters than we expected. <laughs> or hope, I suppose. Yeah. No, don't, don't, don't talk to walk that. Away. No, we're not going to save that, though. We're going to walk away. Found that he spawned the other fight. Well, that was convenient. As intended. So they're going to talk about the next. We're going to learn about the homeless man. Da, 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 da. Get tab. <sighs> I mashed that too fast. Whoops. Everything is dive job, dude. Try that again. That one. So I stopped the first shot. What am I getting the first shot? Uh, Oppo. Scotch whiskey. Scotch whiskey, right. And the other one's champagne. Yeah, don't Pretty sure I wrote down gold just because. Items. And healing items, yes. Yeah. Donuts. We have a donation from DM Joey, who gave $54.06. Nice. Thank you for what you do. I'm having a pretty rough day today, and being able to donate and be a part of something like this really helps lift my spirits. Money goes to the runner's choice. Uh, is that going to go straight uh, to Luffy? Is Luffy a 20 percent big map? Put it to that. Well, it's being met now. Well, it will be. Put, yeah, put it to that and then the rest of whatever's next that hasn't been that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. that's cool. Well, if there's yes, more, we'll put it to that. Later. So, there's an achievement if you buy the gold champagne. But, are you going to do it? Yeah. No, I want one. I want to keep my money. Um. Oh yeah, the other great mini game to carry you is slot car racing. There's a whole set of side stories about slot car racing that have continued on into Kiwami and Yakuza 6. By the way, that queue of people is the uh, Dragon Quest. Yeah, that's the quest. Dragon Quest. Uh, where am I? Oh, yeah, um, I'm this way, yes. Oops. Planning. Planning. So Planning. now we're supposed to go talk to the homeless men. They tell us what they want to drink, and then we have to go buy it. But conveniently, we already knew what they wanted, it's and like we've so we just already. So really? That's why all that shopping was done, so this can be done a lot faster. It's still annoying, <coughs> but it doesn't have to go running around now. No button mashing. You there? So while I'll do this, let's like, thank our mini SA for. Setting this up and giving us this great room. It's awesome. Tada Sonomani, Stotsuraki Kikas the Great.
Look at that, they all work for Tachibana. <laughs> no, so it's right. like, oh, because yeah, we need to learn more about Tachibana real estate. So to get the information from them, we have to fly them with alcohol. This guy sticks with beer. It's beer. Luckily, it doesn't even like make you choose things. It's just here it is in your inventory. You there? What did you want? Potato sochu. Sweet. Someone's bound to have a sweet potato sochu. They did. How convenient. Oh look, Churchill. it was in my inventory all along. Scotch. I wonder who has scotch. Is that not working? Oh, I'm terrible at this. The Hanzo. Well, that sounds better. Oh, yeah, there's a shining down thing down in the corner, but we can't pick that up because this is supposed to be a wholesome stream. Champagon. Carrie, why do you know where to buy Oh, this? yeah, Yakuza is kind of a Christmas series in that all these games tend to take place around Christmas. Just like Die Hard. Just like Die Hard, yeah. <laughs> It truly is. <coughs> so it turns out these homeless guys just paid to squirt. Pretty much. Thanks, Mike. Head back to the So most of the most of the things we use money for in this game actually just ends up being taxes. Yeah. Buy much in the way of abilities on the whole. Uh, yeah, that one. So they coughed up the info that Tachibana seems to work in the Champion District. Champions District is another part of town where there's lots of homeless people. That's a wall. Don't run into that. That's an encounter. Really? Don't run, Don't run into that. Don't worry, this cutscene will stop the encounter. That guy's also an encounter. Yeah, most of the time with encounters, like you get an ability later that will let you avoid them. But for now, um, the best way to get out of them is to try and trigger cutscenes if you can't get around them. Because triggering a cutscene, even if it's for like a sub-story or something, will cancel out uh, people falling in. It may end up being faster than that. And also because we have to do story cutscenes anyway. So these residents are like, no, Tachibana actually looks after us. Who the hell are you? Get out of my face. Yeah. Like, so they got that. So I think I grab that fighter tool on the side, or I could just keep them up. I think just do it this way. Oh, oh. I thought he was much closer. Oh, okay. We're gonna bash back. <laughs> Get out of here. Sure. <coughs> Oh wait, check out this phone. Oh mm. yeah, that's the peak, that's the pinnacle of technology right there. What? Same. Mine only allows you to play video games. Unbreakable. It's like an old Nokia. <laughs> Those things will never die. In. 
So even though you talk to Tachibana, Oda's all like, I don't trust you, Kiryu. Do I catch a cab? I need to, no, you gotta run. And make sure you avoid uh, the deep uh, rush mode stuff. Ooh. Uh, hello. Really? Really? They just waiting. Oh, hang on. Yep, yep, yep. Uh. So there would be a cutscene for the rush mode uh, trainer if he went closer to the car park, so we had to uh, hug the wall on the other side of the road. Avoid those two fighting. Oh, I didn't. Know that. So, so this is a sub story about girls selling their panties. I wish I was making that up. <laughs> Underneath it all. Anyway, bye. I'm just running. We have a donation from Kenora giving $20.69. Match to reach 2500 Get hyped. Money goes to Runner's Choice. Nice. So here's a Tachibana office. I, can't, no, no, I can't skip Oda at all, can I? Nope. Just talk to him for five hours. So there's going to be some dudes here. <coughs> who, even though Oda's all like, oh yeah, you're coming to the real estate, you can talk to Tachibana. He's just like, oh, guess what? I actually just sent some goons to fight you because ha ha. We want to test out the goods as he will say in about two minutes time. We'll test out the goods. See what's going on in there. Oh, there goes my right ear. My right ear just popped. Oh, he's got a baton. I have a fist. Oh, he's not dead. No. Well, of course he's not dead. Yeah, Gary's never killed him now. Or... There we go. Nice. That was nice. actually pretty clean. So, it's coming up to the boss fight. <coughs> Who's upstairs? Is it Tachibana? It's not, it's Oda. He's here being like, Oh, Kiryu, <coughs> I don't trust you, so I'm gonna fight oh you to test your abilities. Oda. So here's an annoying aspect of this. Some yeah. dialogue will just play out. Can't match oh it. God, it's yeah. so it's kind of random of what dialogue there are some plays out in full and what doesn't. There are certain sections of dialogue where you can skip some of it and then you just have to sit through the other half. There's a really pointless part in chapter 13. Oh yeah. Yeah, there you Yeah, you skip that, you skip that. He literally just says, I want to test out the goods. Yeah, apparently this is what real estate is. These people are. It's totally not your people. Oh, I am nothing special. I am the perfect match for a half hour sex yakuza. Bring it on! Angry Japanese yelling. June Oda. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Anyway, here's such a bad idea. Have you seen Oda? Oh, Makes sense, right? And I just take it across. There's a chair. Yeah. Oh, uh, let's just do this one. Hey, catch! We'll just uppercut what? Him. But did the chair even do anything there? Well, he just uppercut it and just did it there. Yeah. Hey, I've never seen him actually do things. I have. When I was trying to practice for Majima, I got, I got screwed up with that. Anyway, so that's the end of the Odo. That actually went really well. 
Yeah, so he's just like, well, I guess that you are okay. And Tachibana comes in and goes, yo hi. Also, I can make all the lights turn on. Which is really weird. Yeah, and that's sort of never explained. He's just like, I, yeah, it's a stand. So that's the end of chapter two. There we go. So now it's time <coughs> for Majima. This is like the best scene in the game, but have. I can't play it because it takes 20 minutes to play yeah, out. I'd love to play this cutscene for you guys. So um, my splits for chapter three literally says nothing happens in chapter three because nothing happens in chapter three. So Majima is in later games, crazy guy with eye patch and knives and open shirt. In this game he is a uh, sensible businessman. Whoop. That's okay. So this guy's drunk and disorderly. He's the manager of this uh, the brand. He just gets show. Okay, so this is some amazing news. Got you, sir. So this guy's doing this whole thing, being disorderly, groping the girls. Majima comes in and this guy's all like, oh, but you can't beat me up because I'm a paying customer. And Majima's like, you're right, I can't. And then he does all this sick mind game stuff on this guy to make him end up paying everyone's tab for the night. And everyone's and like- And so made him look like a hero. Yeah, and everyone's like, Majima, you're so cool. And then he's just like, oh, I hate my job. <laughs> I wish I was killing, I wish I was not killing people in the Yakuza. To be fair, Kiryu's never actually in the Yakuza in the game. The, the name is kind of misleading because the, the, ja the literal Japanese translation is like a dragon because Kiryu has like the dragon tattoo. <laughs> but they wanted to, you know, make it sound like a GTA style game. But it's not well. I mean, and the stock door noise that's in every single game is my favorite. Turn around, turn around. So you can't actually run in the cabaret grand. You just have to walk very slowly and purposefully, and it sucks. Talk to this guy about his problems. Well. So this way, so we're being a good manager, you know, we diffuse that problem, we got the hostesses who are like, all doing their jobs, and we're like, oh, we got, you gotta, you gotta be nice to people. And then Majima's whole side story is running a cabaret club, so you gotta hire girls to go talk to dudes and make them feel nice and welcome, I guess. That's a funny looking sleep stuff, man. Yeah. Go to bed, stuff, man. <laughs> well, alright. <laughs> Meanwhile, this waiter's doing some stuff. Majin is being a good businessman, being like, oh, I'll just give you the money to pay for these medical expenses. And everyone's like, wow, Majin, you're amazing. Stop. character and worst character is here. Sagawa. Sagawa. He's an ass. Oh, he's a jerk. He's a jerk. I'm sensing myself. Huh? Skip this but, but not straight away. It's really weird. Yeah. There's a lot of cutscenes here. That's like all chapter 3 is, is cutscenes. 
And then the chapters will actually start getting far more interesting. Oh yeah, no, the early game isn't the best for a speedrun. But, but it is supposed to set up the story, so it makes sense. Mogden has just had a tiring day. He's that whole situation. He's just like, you know what, I'm just going to go home. Well, no, he's going to go to the goddess. Well, he's, oh yeah. But first. So he's got to go to... He's got to go to another club because they're, they're poaching some desk girls and he wants to learn what's going on. But first. But first we have to learn about fighting. Fighting. From Mysterious Man. Hi. Who becomes a recurring character in later games. Teaching period. Well, I say later games. This game is one of the latest. Where does it? Oh no, sorry, I thought for a second. I'm dying. <laughs> this is one of the later released games, but is in fact the first in the series. Yeah, chronologically. chronologically. So here's much about learning how to fight. Pokemon Mai. Works. Aha, I keep messing this up. Yeah. One, two, three. Also, by the way, never killed a man. <laughs> it's right, he no sells it. If you're lucky. <laughs> How many times do we have to teach you this lesson? Let's get this time. No. Just head east along the waterfront. Just have to wait for him to turn around before we can skip it over. Now we could get some intel on Odyssey. We do have time for something very special, though. <coughs> Hang on. Rubber shades. Head inside Odyssey. So Majin was going to make himself as inconspicuous as possible by doing this. I'll never suspect a thing. So Martin is going to scope out this club, and look around, check it out. This is, Good. this is supposed to be the number two club in the city. Yeah, yours being the number one, but... As you look around, you're like... Uh... It's unfortunately a lot of mashing through this. What is that? What the hell is this? There he is again. <laughs> that, was, that was important to show off. You know what, you don't actually need to show that off to finish this. Yeah. Exactly, just do the four takes. The Majima notices that, hey, this club is not very busy. Why did I have to wait like eight minutes? I have to mash to through all this, don't I? Yep. So we're done. Yamagata turns up. The owner of this club, he can start skipping. Well, skip once. <coughs> so I'm going to ask about. Three. Oh. Sure. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> Oh. 
<laughs> so yeah, he managed to actually score the uh Yeah, they scored number one the best girl. girl. I think if you did the other draw thing you'd actually get more girls, but we don't really It's not important. Uh, taxi, right? Yep. Yeah. Taxi to Sutton Boys to race at least. Which was the first one. Yep. And now Martin is like, boy I'm hungry, I could really grab something to eat. Maybe some Chinese food, conveniently. Styles. Yeah, that, that first one's okay. It was pretty boring. You're barely going to use it. It does have one specific use. It does have us. one specific use in this speedrun. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry. Uh -huh. I wish I could see the appeal of Chinese broadsword. So there's one side quest. There's one side quest in this game that requires because these people who teach you the style, you can also get them to buy weapons for you or scope out weapons for you by giving them money. For one side quest, they needed a Chinese broadsword. I had a 99% chance. Eight times in a row, they didn't bring it back. PSX picks up the controller once, gets it immediately. <laughs> I'm helping. <laughs> It's like, you know, you want to double Chinese broadswords, right? I'm like, that doesn't let me continue the quest. <laughs> it's just like XCOM percentages. Yeah. They don't matter. Actually, no, I play Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem. Or Octopath. Octopath Traveler 2. That's really bad for percentages. <laughs> no one told you this. So, this is Slugger style. You can change up the weapons, but you get a bat, and the bat's all you need. We do use this a little bit in the run, not quite as much as the uh, third style. That is the best style in this game, but it is usable. I do not trust this man, he has an air of danger right now. There's a side quest you can do where a girl asks Majima to be her boyfriend because she described to her father that her boyfriend was a guy with hair and a ponytail, an eye patch, and a menacing aura. And then you just happen to walk past. <laughs> Shifty eyed man again. Wow. Did it not let you dodge? No. I uh it's too slow. Oh wow. There we go. Come on. Come at me. Come at me. Come at me. Do a combo, man. Come on, face. Come on. Anytime. Yeah. Alright. I just did literally anything. Stop. And his knee just gone straight through a mess. He's fine, he's fine. He'll sell me Chinese food. See, he's fine. Just like that other guy, his neck we shattered, he's fine. Uh, Walked it off. Huh? He's still fine. He's fine. Oh no, he's actually not dead. Oh, we'll point him out. He comes up. Hi. You can enlist them to get materials. We will not be doing that. Uh, we ain't got no time for that. 
initially. Oh, well, pretty healed. Nice. Oh yeah, because they even because we're off. eating. That's very nice. Thank you, Jeff. Do we take a taxi? Yeah, let's take a taxi to Shofu Kicho West. I always feel like it's probably going to end up in the same amount of time. Right? Yeah. Well, I mean, I trust McGuffin. Yeah. Well, also, big shout outs to Fruit McGuffin, like the one consistent main runner of the Yakuza series. When we sort of started doing this, we went, oh, I wonder if there's anything, and then we found his runs, and he's done some really amazing Yakuza runs, and then we kind of right there. By encounter. What? Camera, please. Margin has had enough, and he's going home, going out of bed. Hopefully not run into anything. Hopefully. Let's be careful of this place. I'm not job at the time. Whoops. I thought I had a second extra. Let's go home. So oh, this is why this chapter is called Nothing Happens in Chapter 3, because this is the end of it. These guys are all like, oh, we heard that you don't beat anyone up in your restaurant. You, oh, in, in your cabaret, you treat everyone with like, ultimate respect. Well, you should respect us. And he's just like, but you know, they're not cabaret. They're in fact intruding on my home. My really bad apartment. So there's two options. You just do this. Or there's also a gas cylinder around the corner. If you're lucky enough to actually pick it up. These guys have a tendency to not let you pick it up. He was scared. I would be scared. I was trying that to get a heat really move well. off unnecessarily. That actually went really well. That was one of the better runs of that I've had. Because that, that, that fight is often very terrible. <laughs> Imagine the said something badass, and now he's just like, I'm too tired for this. I'm going to bed. Yeah, I'm just gonna go to sleep right now. Anyway, that's supposed to be a scene that's like dramatic and showing how Margin is like trapped in this town because he's being su under surveillance constantly. I hit yes, that was an accident. Sorry. It's all good. Chapter 4. Skip, skip, skip. Yep. So we get a flashback, but if you played Yakuza 4, you would have seen the same flashback. Basically, Majima and his sworn brother Saitama were supposed to perform a hit on a bunch of dudes. But then Majima got called away from it, and Saitama went himself and got arrested and sent to prison for about like 25 years. Um, Majima instead got trapped by the other Yakuza and got put into torture for a year and got his eye gouged out, which is why he's got the eye patch. That's not actually that to look cool. Yeah. Taxi. Just run up to get the cab. Everybody loves it. What is it? Uh, the van. Really? Oh, I can get a cab. Oh, whoops. Yeah, no. But the guys Taxi were there, so. They can't get the cab. Improvise. <laughs> Well, no, you're not actually supposed to get the taxi top. That's oh. not my bad. Of course, there's a taxi right there. Everything is valuable. Yeah, and we don't need to. 
been oh. another been another exciting day. <coughs> Majima being like, I wish I'd done more research, and I'm like, we didn't have time to do more research. This is a speed run. Allegedly. Should I I keep skipping that. Yeah. There's another great line I can't repeat though. So I've gone to work, I've apparently been doing my job for some of the day, but now they're just like, yeah, you can go. Let's, uh, let's go eat. Let's go eat. He's like, well, you're the boss. So Majima has been made to run this club, and it's like supposed to give like a set amount of profits, like an exorbitant amount of money <coughs> to get back into the Yakuza. But they keep upping the price, and he's just like, well, what else can I do? Yep. What what do I need to do to prove myself? And they were like, and they're like, well, Majima, could you kill someone? And he's just like, yeah, yeah, I'll kill nine guys. I'll, I'll do it. And they're like, you sure? And he's just like, no. Yeah, There's another side quest there about a cult. Don't avoid that. Those are bad foods, we don't want that. We have a face off side story here. Right there. There's our buddy Sagala. There's Sagala. Haha, <laughs> buddy. Good joke. Just gotta have something to drink. And then he's given us a mission to go kill someone named Makoto Matsura. We need to find out who Makoto Matsumura is, and I did this the very slow way. Yeah, just get the taxi home. Let's not. Let's not. That was a bad dude. So because I because I drank with that guy, um, I have a slight level of intoxication, which means my controller keeps rumbling. I think it makes slightly, slightly awkward, but not very. Yeah, unless you're playing 4 and one of the, the abilities you can get is that you can do more damage when you're drunk. <coughs> For one specific character. This is Marjorie's exciting apartment. There's a radio and there is a dead. <coughs> That's about it. And also whatever he ate. Pretty hardcore. Yeah. So stop that on the way. Yep. So I'm gonna buy some healing items just out of safety. Hopefully I won't need them, but <coughs> judging by my practice yesterday, I may well need them. It does eat in a little into the money for upgrades, but that's okay. There was some dudes waiting there. Right, we're gonna bump your day. This is, yeah, this is more of a safety strat than a necessary strat. How many should I buy? Eight. That's a good number. I, that was a completely random number that I decided at the last second. No, it was a good number. I mean, yes, I wrote that in the note. Eight. <laughs> so we're going to go to the telephone club, which unfortunately we don't get to see, but if you do it as Kiryu, as this great cutscene where he's like dramatically answering the phone, and he like picks it up and he's just like, ah! and then he answers and he's just like, mush mush. But we don't get to do that with Majima, unfortunately. So he's trying to find someone who knows about Makoto Makimura, and after being there for like, an hour and a half, we finally find someone. It's a college girl. 
and it's now afternoon. He's going to meet this person for a drink. But first, it's the most important character in the game. Are you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Walking erection. Walking erection. <laughs> You, you know how he was dancing? It's great. His actual name is Mr. Libido. Yeah, no, they call him Mr. Libido. There's one in Kiri's area too who just looks like Hideki Camille. Alright, he's wearing the shades again. I'll do that when I get there. Oh, what? What? Oh, hello. Side story. I don't recognize this side story. Oh, I think this is the one where the guy's trying to buy this oh, uh, particular that. necklace that is apparently out of stock. I have never run into that one before. That's a first. <laughs> There's another one there with that guy on the ground. That guy's trying to bravely cross the bridge with his very offensive jacket. So I gotta it, put the shades on because I'm being inconspicuous again. <coughs> Aren't we all? Actually, oddly, I'm feeling really fine. Me yeah, too, actually. I think I had that second wave. Probably that light blaring straight into my eyes. It helps. Oh, Jesus. <coughs> You want the sunglasses? <laughs> That's why you have them on. <laughs> so, so we get this information. So we got to get information from this girl, and she's kind of a gold digger. But and we're just going to like hit it, hit her, and then like run away. I'm supposed to like walk with her, but just gonna sprint off. Let's go get some sushi. Let's eat sushi. She blitz through all your money. Buy money. Women, am I right? <laughs> so now he's like, will you tell me stuff? And she's like, no, I want to go to the arcade. So, because this is the 80s, there's no like modern Sega stuff, but you can play Outrun and Space Harrier. Yeah. But we're not, unfortunately, unfortunately we're not doing that, we're going to the claw machine. Yeah. This is gonna be. A, this looks actually a decent. Thing. Yeah. I will try to do the claw machine just out of pride, <coughs> rather than it. It's actually better to skip it's it. It's better just just um, fail it immediately first try and then just say, no, nah, I quit. Don't jinx it, don't jinx it. Sit no there. Yeah. Come back, try us. Actually though. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Don't worry, I've never had done that in practice either. <laughs> I think I might have done it like once. So I, I last uh, last time when I was practicing, I had the worst possible setup. Like there was no way I was. There was absolutely get any. no way you were actually getting any toys out of that. But tonight I got a really good setup. So ram all the toys up against the wall, so it's impossible. Like in real life. The house always wins. So now she wants to go to the disco. So we're gonna do that. Unfortunately, we don't get to dance. Or do we? We're about to learn the most important fighting style in this game. And the <coughs> one that Majima will be using for the whole game. Also, there's um, Ai Ai from Super Monkey Ball. I'm pretty sure that's actually what he's based on, though. 
That wouldn't surprise me. Oh, hi, Kameki. Why are you here? I wonder. Ah, uh, they are doing their ritual of breaking dance. Look at these cool cats. So this is a really good fighting style. There goes the audio. Goodbye. I assume they're aware of that. <laughs> yeah, These moves much. are just so sick. Holy <laughs> Can't repeat that. Oh. Marjorie Manor, This swearing. is why we preemptively threw money into the swear jar. Yeah. Because of uh, these rude people in this video there game. There we are. So, <coughs> that's Breaker Style. You'll get to see it in action soon. It's great. <sighs> Apparently... <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Ooh, what's going on? Fish or die. Fish or die. Yeah, she's like, I want to go to the disco. Don't be sitting in such a rush. Okay, I'll slow down. No, I'm just kidding. Gotta go far. I thought it was when she stopped you. I guess it's when you go back. Huh? No, it's when you go back. Yeah, after you do the first fight. Just like that. Uh, yep. Let's go to the Maharaja. The discotheque. Yeah, the discotheques, just because, you know, in case you didn't realize it was the 80s yet. I didn't level up my abilities, but I will do that in Well, you could do that in the tutorial fight anyway. Look at that girl just waving her arms. Hell yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. You what? Then you're finding out that like Maki Mara is like a good dude who like runs in and saves girls when they're like in bad situations when dudes are like trying to expect more than they're willing to give when they're going out with dudes. I'm gonna do something real quick. There we go. Just a little more firepower for Breaker Star. <laughs> now these kids are all going to beat out this chick because she's running around you know, get, using these dudes money and then that's about it really. <laughs> Majima stepping in, ever the gentleman. Oh, you can actually skip this. Oh, I can? Oh, whoops. Well, that's like the last dialogue. <laughs> Sorry. I know this game. We played it. We, we played it once or twice before. Yeah. There's a lot of cutscenes. <coughs> so here's breakdancing. But the one thing they ask you to do in a tutorial, we never do. Oh, what? Yeah, falling over, that's the thing that do that. Yep, that's all it is. Yeah, best move. Yeah. And that's the end of that fight. So, he has fantastic crowd control, this yeah. game. And also, it's really good for stun-looking <coughs> bosses. So, yeah. This is the end of the video game for Rocket. It's now gg easy. Pretty much, except for that one section. Except for that one section coming up in Chapter 11. So, he's got all he needs to know, almost. She's going to tell him a couple of last things as, like, thanks for saving her. Like, oh, Makimura saved us all, he's so amazing, he's like basically an angel, he's this huge dude who like runs in to save our lives. What a hero. He's like the biggest hero ever, and Majima's like, great, I'm supposed to kill this guy. I feel like it.
Easy action. Take the shades off. Not yet. Your shades. Your See? Shades. Well, he has to one. wear them for this scene. Wait, Super Monkey Ball Man is here. <coughs> so he's like, I will teach you moves. Because the, the only problem with uh, breakdancing style is that there's like no heat moves to work with. Uh, we don't need them. Yeah, we don't need them. Climbing. Yeah, how oh, we get there faster? Side stories have we gone across? It's two so far. Two. Let me keep the magic account. People are gonna donate towards it. Yeah. Probably gonna donate for your side story <coughs> to run into. <coughs> no, you can take them off here. Yeah. Okay, okay. So Majima does this whole thing where he bursts in and then like there's no one there except this young girl comes in, except he finds out she's blind. But she's a massage therapist. Sure, I'm a security I'm a security straight. That sounds legit. You're like, oh, that's why you feel like you have so much stress in the back. <coughs> hey, I'll talk about her. Let's talk about you. We have to do both anyway. And he's like, maybe you'd be a good hostess, because hostess dudes just want to see girls who will listen to them and look pretty. Godo Hando. So Majima gets so relaxed he falls asleep, the guy comes in, immediately knows what's up, sends her out on an errand. So here's a trait of this series, uh, this game where there are some unskippable boss intros, like this one. You can't even pause it or anything. Nope. Enjoy this sick intro. <laughs> Oh, this tattoo is really cool. Who wants to guess this guy's name? So hopefully if I do this right, you will see the combo I use for the rest of the game. Massive man. man. <coughs> and then Marshall lost his other idea. Ooh, that crack always gets me. <laughs> Relatable. Man. So, yeah, bosses don't like breaker style. Who knew? Get down. But he won't. But, yeah, he won't die to this because he has a QTE that has to be triggered, but that's okay. We'll just let him get up to his QTE and then we'll sneeze Wee. on him. Meow. Excuse me, sir, would you like to get up and take your beating? Thanks. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, that combo is basically what I get used what he used for the rest of the game. You're doing well. See ya. And that was fast enough so that the fadeaway happened immediately. 
Let's go. Excuse me. So now some Yakuza goons have showed up and they're like, hang on, we're off with Makoto Makimura. They're like, hang on, who's, Ma who's Makoto? So importantly, we disposed of the guy with the gun? Yeah. Because the, um, the gun guys can hurt and can stun lock you. That was actually a really good fight, too. Yeah, that was really good. Um, we learned that Makoto Makimura <coughs> is the name of the girl. The girl is Makoto. Where did they go? Hmm. They went to Mars. Yeah, they went to Mars. Get your ass to Mars. <coughs> no. No. Uh, let's check something, actually. Okay. Yeah, he might as well. While I'm here, I'll just do the other ones. <coughs> okay, I have now officially done all of Majima's upgrades and I never have to see this screen again. Yeah. Two chapters into his story. He yep, is he's fully, fully upgraded. upgraded. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. <coughs> so, this is kind of like a defense mission. Yeah, you'll notice there's a health gauge above Makoto. If they start grabbing her, her health gauge will go down. You will get a game over if she runs out of health. Yeehaw. Yeah. Yeehaw. All right. Hopefully this goes right. This is like a weird almost skip after this scene. I went terribly wrong in practice yesterday. <coughs> yeah, we spent half of our uh, that's never happened before yesterday. <laughs> you want me just to explain it? Uh, so, well first we have to hide. Oh, look at this great hiding space. No, no one will know that we're here. Look at how inconspicuous we are. <coughs> What's going on What's here? What's going on? I can't believe Someone these guys fell over. IRL Beyblade kicking. <laughs> Let's call all the boys. We'll find the girl. So we call this Metal Gear Majima or Majima Gear Solid. It's an escort mission. Who it's likes also escort, an escort mission? Mission. Really? So what we have to do is... So we have to try and get spotted by these guys far enough ahead that the guys we just ran through will be turned around when we get out of this fight and therefore not see us. Now, for some reason, what happened yesterday was that those guys still somehow saw us, despite the fact that we were past them. Yep. Oh, that didn't look good to your back, buddy. Ooh. And there we go. So, this is the most efficient path if that skip works successfully, which it did, thankfully. So, you can never get past these guys, despite the fact they're looking in that corner, because somehow the guy in the back corner is going to go, Hey, what's this? Wait. You know, forget what I just said. No, no, I, I haven't gotten past them. But, like, he's supposed to see you straight away. Why has this happened twice in a row? I don't know. I'm probably going to mess it up and those guys I will come back. I think it's going to screw the whole thing up now. Oh, no. Well, I guess it depends on what the spawns look like when you come out of this, but I think it's going to be a repeat of the last time. Oh, well, we already spent that. That's never happened before. Yahoo! Yes, he can also do handstands. Yep. That's really screwed the whole thing up. So ideally yeah. those guys in the corner are actually supposed to see you straight away. And then you'll actually be able to sneak past this section. Yeah, but I keep messing this up. I, I don't think that was on you, to be honest. Because, yeah, until last night we've never seen this. <laughs> Thanks, soft man. Wherever you are. Yahoo! Yes, you can. 
Oh well. On the plus side, we don't have to sneak through the park anymore. Yeah, so normally we'd have to do like some sneaking to avoid those guys, but because I but ran they're, into them. Well, I was about to say dead. No, they're not dead. They're not dead. Marge has never killed a man. Never killed a man. He's totally not going to kill this guy either. <coughs> okay, when I was when I was practicing this over Easter, I messed up this quick time event. And it made the camera break for like the rest of this sequence. So the sequence. But I have not replicated it. The camera was fixed in one location further up, so we couldn't see a single thing. I think I must have messed up the second one. I'm pretty sure the first one. Never killed a man. He's not dead, don't worry. He walks it off. Just shrugs it off. Sick. Is he going to be okay? Uh, right outside the pole. Hmm? Right outside of the pole. He'll just trigger it faster. <coughs> gonna do the safe or hmm? gonna do the bridge safe or um I'll try. The worst case scenario, it's not even more money for no reason. No one ever truly dies. But no one lives forever. So, this is one of two escort missions, but this one's the longer and more annoying of the two. I think I'd probably save in the spot or that they wouldn't just see go. You might as well just take the next one. Um, it is possible for you to get all the way across the bridge from this point, but um, that's kind of dangerous and it requires some precise timing. Oh, it's gonna go for it anyway. Let's go. Nope, spotted. Nope, spotted. Oh well, that's alright, there's just nope, one fight. Nope, I'm safe. What? Oh. And we'll sneak past him. Nice. See. So you only have to get across the bridge. That, apart from that one, that actually went pretty well. That actually went a lot better than, yeah. Probably then one of my better runs of <laughs> This is fine. Everything is fine. Let's, let's take this blind girl down the <coughs> stairs. What could possibly go wrong? Stairs? No. You have to be careful not to go near those stairs, otherwise it'll Because it'll prompt a dialogue that wastes like five seconds. You're like, no, I ain't got no time for that. And now we're at the end of this sequence. <coughs> Remember that guy with the gun in the massage <laughs> parlor? Is it, He's here. Yeah, this is it. Oishi's back for more. Oh my god. <coughs> <coughs> He's drink nope. They're threatening me, it's fine. Oh, pe people die. People die when they are dead. What is, what is she hiding? That was really a clean fight. So. Well, that's their problem. Now what? there's like a dramatic cutscene where Makoto's all like, oh no, Maj I was so scared, and then Majima just pulls out the knife and then it's the end of the chapter. And you'll never know what happens. You'll know what happens. In two chapters. That's the end of chapter four. Back to Kiryu. Meanwhile, back in Kamarucho. <laughs> That's fair. <coughs> An honest living. So now Kiri is going to try and be an honest Yakuza, an honest ex Yakuza, rather, as a real estate man. So I'm still going to do a lot of mashing. <laughs> <coughs> so 
So I gotta go buy some civilian clothes. But first, I'm gonna avoid these guys. Please leave me alone. Oh, I ran out of health. Oh, well. Guess we're fighting these goons. And Nishiki's gonna help us, maybe. Nishiki doesn't do a lot to help. What a clothesline. See. I just realized I'm going the wrong way. Oh well, we're going this way now. So Kiryu's got to buy some new threads, make him look not Yakuza-like. Check out this non-Yakuza looking outfit. Totally civilian clothing. Yep. Meanwhile, his best friend's laughing at him. Do you know what fashion is? Nishiki's like, you know what, you pick poorly, it's my shout. I'll buy the suit for you. <coughs> so now we've got our sick threads, we've got to go meet Oda in a cafe so he can teach us about real estate etiquette. Nishiki wishes he could be that cool. Why am I suddenly cold? I don't know. So before we go to the cafe though, that whole stamina upgrade thing that we were talking about earlier, are you serious? Excuse me. Alright, we're going to do this the fun way. Yeah, yeah that, that's, that's the, the fun, fun way. way. Yeah, get beat down. Oh, I thought those were picked up a bull signposts. Okay, This fine. is really fun. This is a really fun game, honestly. Shoulder barge. He blocked that. Rude. Get out of my face. So they actually blocked the path to the shrine, which uh, we're going to use right now to upgrade our stamina. Also, there's Bob. He is a clown. He's he a gives clown. You DLC. He gives you free DLC that no one ever paid for. So, gotta go fast. Such is the way of life. Did you not get the second? I got the second. Alright. Just just knowing that this is a Sega game. By the way, game, those guys are still walking from past. This is a Sega game, uh, so your upgrades are called Gotta Go Fast. I you ran into a sub story. This is actually the one where you meet Steven Spining, who is totally not Steven Spielberg. They're like, hmm. That bold demeanor, that aura of unassailed with authority. This is actually one of the longer ones. This is one of the longer ones, so this is actually really not one we want to walk into. Oh, look at me mash circle. Seriously, I've gotten colder, what the hell? Yeah, I can feel the aircon. Oh, that's what that is. I'm in a hurry, I'm in the middle of a speed run, I'm sorry guys. You'll just have to help them another day. No. <laughs> How about I help him? Never. Fortunately, that reset my stamina so I can actually run straight to Oda without running out of puff and before I run out of puff. Hi, Oda. Oh, there we go. Okay. 148. That's not bad. So, <coughs> after this chapter, the next few chapters are actually significantly shorter than what we've been playing so far. There are, uh, well, 17 chapters total. 16 plus the finale. So this is us be us learning to be proper businessmen. Yeah, which you totally don't learn in Yakuza. is a nerd. Look at those sick glasses. Oh, well done, give me your glasses. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. <coughs> Pretty sure I can't skip this. 
That's good for anything to get into this. Should you see it? Okay, so proper business etiquette. We want this table. This looks like a good table. <coughs> so PSX is currently showing us how to be a proper businessman. Yep. <coughs> so while we're waiting for our client, what do we order? I don't know what counts as the head or the foot of a table when I it's a understand. square yes. table. I want beer. No. Yeah. Coffee would probably go down well, though. <coughs> yeah, look at this guy. This is the businessman. Oh, yeah, quick time event to give business card. Kiryu, touch my real estate, sir. Oh, very good, Kiryu. Ah. One problem, Kiryu. You have to walk. You have to give a business card. Except your business card is upside down. down. Oops. You tried your best, Kiryu. There's Space Invaders. Hell yeah. Let's play Space Invaders. This game sucks. Let's play Hunger Games, of course. So this is the long introduction to Real Estate Royale, which is Kiryu's big mini game, because completing it gives you Dragon Style, but it takes hours. We, to we don't have the time for that. We <laughs> really don't have the time for that. Kiryu Kun, Kiryu-chan. So if anyone remembered about an hour and a half ago, I bought a confection gift box from the shop. Yeah. This is why we bought that so early, because otherwise it's a hell of a road trip. And by hell I mean like three minutes. So, probably. yeah, the things Kiri needs to buy is all the drinks for the homeless man and the confectionery box for the, the squatter, the squatter to try and put him in a good mood. So we can Try get him to, to leave. Him to get, get him to leave. Get him to leave this building that Yamanoi owns. Please, no. Oh, no. No. Hey, Try to hug the left hand Is that five now? Yep. Cool. This is more sub stories than I expected. Yeah. Not doing well. Oh well. That's fine. Okay, anyway. Two dollars. For dollar for each sub store. Hi, Oda. Will this confection gift box work? Nice. 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 So, this is the building that if you do real estate royale, you will be very familiar <coughs> with. Let's head on up. Okay. Yep. No, there was, you, there was, there was literally that scene just before where Kiryu went to buy a bad suit. Yep. Yeah, and we just had him buy that suit, <laughs> and it's awful. <coughs> and the friend's the one in the per in the magenta suit, I believe. But it's alright. Kiryu doesn't know anything about. So anyway, here's the Yakuza that put the squatters up. Look at up. these suits. <coughs> so here's why Kiryu's here for the bargaining. Off go the glasses. It, it was me, Kiryu, all along. 
Alright, so this is a really hard fight. I'm gonna roll over here. I'm gonna grab this. And that's the end of the fight. Wait, I blinked. Can you do that fight again? <laughs> that was rough. Yeah, Kiryu's weapon of choice, a bicycle. So now we get the long tutorial on real estate royale. <coughs> but first we actually have one of the few speed tech skips. Or one of the glitches. Epic style! I didn't, I didn't know why though. Huh? Okay. So the squad is like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna leave now. Bye. Yeah, this guy hired Yakuza to back him up, but he's just leaving now. Out of room tonight. <coughs> so we need to go find where Yamano is gone. I think. Um. Yeah. Yeah, we need. He's. He should Actually, be no. He's. Yeah. He should so be. He's like, oh, so Yamanoi likes going bowling. Hey, maybe you should check the map bowl. Yeah. See and what it, see what's happening over there. And then we go bowling for a while. We don't go bowling. If only we could go bowling. If only we could go bowling. <laughs> Whoops. We're gonna go this way. Yeah, gonna the, veer left. Yeah, the game conveniently railroads you into where you need to yeah, go. Yeah, look at those convenient stop signs. Are you serious? It's Mr. Shakedown! Oh, well, he's gonna despawn here. Haha. <laughs> oh. <coughs> Actually, I hope he's still there. Oh. No, unfortunately, we did hit a cutscene, so Mr. Shakedown will have to despawn. Yep. We, we really don't want to fight Mr. Shakedown. I kind of still need my money. Yeah. At Endgame, if we have to run into him, we may fight him just for the hell of it. Because we won't need money. So he's one of the five billionaires for the real estate uh, royale. Yeah, so real estate royale, uh, you have five billionaires who are the bosses of each area. And... There's amazing boss fights with them Just where like, Kiryu not. has like money floating down and he grabs some and he starts fanning himself with it and it's great. But so it turns <laughs> out the Leisure King who we were just talking to actually beat well, up this guy. Beat up Yamanoi. Like, oh, Yamanoi san, are you okay? Are you okay? <coughs> He's fine. So he's like, all right, I'm going to spruce up this building. You guys waste some time. Okay. So you need to wait. You need to waste five in. You need to waste five real minutes to upgrade this. Um, For him to the, progress. To clear out this building. Yeah, clean it up, make it look pretty. Um, but we obviously don't want to spend five real minutes. So what we're going to do is PSX is going to go to Club Sega. Am I going the right way? Yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah, down there. Sweet. Everything's fine. And we're going to play video games. Fancy that. We're going to play video games in this a video game. This truly is the video game of video games. Um, but we're not actually going to play video games. What he's going to do is he is going to go and play. He's, he's going to start playing a game, but he's going to quit out of it immediately. And this the action of having started the game. Also, his theory getting hyper out uh, The action of ha him having starting the game, and it makes it think makes the game think that eight to ten real minutes have passed, um, and then it'll just immediately continue the story. Yeah. So once I leave, passed. once I leave Sega Land, I'll get the pager saying, "Hey, I've set up the Sujita building. You were away for a minute, but I, I did it." There's one other time you will have to do this later on. And I do have but to read But he has to do it twice because it'll he needs to waste fifteen <coughs> minutes. And it's not quite enough to do it so once. So I have to actually read the pager to actually trigger it. And I just run back. As opposed to just running so around. So that was not five minutes, minutes he had to spend. Which 
is great. Oh, okay. We'll just stop in front of that. That's fine. This is okay. Oh, oh, oh. No. Actually, I probably could have made it. Yeah, you would have. <coughs> so, yeah. It's amazing what you can do in the space of one minute. Yeah, that was, that was, yeah, incredible. Throw. Also, this is Marina. Hello, Marina. We'll never see her again in about three minutes' time. <coughs> so, this is just introducing you to Real Estate Royale. Yeah, you have to watch this tutorial and do this tutorial to continue the story. It's really long. I like Real Estate Royale, but... I just realized, are we going to do Sunshine Club or not? Um, depends how we're going for time. Because I don't know how much time we spent. Uh, whoops, don't start collection. That's all we want. Talk to her. So she gives you 15 million dollars? 50 million yen. 50 million yen, rather. But you need to spend that to go buy a building. In order to continue. And this is another really good cutscene. <coughs> oh, yeah. So, we're going to buy the sushi place. Here we go. Oh, no, no apparently I'm not now. buying it. <laughs> here we go. Alright, here we go. I'll make an offer. In cash! <laughs> he says, to, to the, the door. empty doorway! <laughs> it's fine. There's no one there, but he owns the property now. I threw my briefcase at you. You are now mine. It's like a Pokeball. Oh, welcome back. So, I have to grab this. And that's the end of... Uh, yeah, that's, that's the end Royale. of Real Estate Royale. Uh, you can spend <coughs> actual hours on this. But and it's easy money. It's easy money. Literally Kiryu easy ends money. up rolling in money by the end of it. But it takes so long that we're not going to do it. So now you've done this little side quest, you're like, oh yeah, Oda said we're going to meet at Serena to have a drink to celebrate today's success. So let's go to Serena. A focal, one of the many focal points of the Kamarocho. The Kamarocho, yes. I word good. <coughs> so these two are going to chat for a while. So Serena becomes a really important pl place in Yakuza. Especially Kiwami, but it shows up in like every game. Every game. Becomes something of a home base in 2 and 6. Yep. Three and four, it's Although, run by people um, we know and love. Yeah, in five, it's Sky Finance. Oh, yeah. No, four, it's Sky, four, Finance. Sky Finance. I can't skip this yet. But yeah, there's Yumi. They mention her. She's an important plot point in, in one. one. Lady not appearing in this game. So we go for a drink. <coughs> we We're not doing this. Bye karaoke. <coughs> we already played the song. Also, this is the inferior Nishiki singing version. So uh, we don't care. No, we're doing We're, it we're doing that end. after the end of the run. It'll be our it's grand our finale. Yes. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Hey everyone just come in and you know join in and sing so, with us. So another thing about Serena being a plot point in Yakuza, there is always a fight going on in the back alley <coughs> in every game. So my my split for this is uh, the original Serena back back alley, back alley brawl. brawl. So here's a guy you meet literally once and that's it. Yeah, he's supposed to be important, but like you never see. He's that. um Awano's. So our left right hand man. <laughs> Awano, who we haven't actually met in the speedrun yet, and we're what, two hours in? Yep. I was about to say we don't meet him, I'm like, oh yeah we do. 
we see him. Is that we only really see him at the end of the game? At the end, yeah, because he doesn't really do much. There is a long conversation no, he has with him in chapter six. But yeah, but we skip it. We skip that, so in the speedrun we don't see him. All right, so here's what we want. Oh, copy. Oh, copy. Okay, ideally I want to grab a knife, but I don't know the where I'm going. Get the knife! There it is. Never killed a man. See, it's fine. He's not even dead. I mean, he's... I'm going to oh, no, slash that is. guy up. Did, you see it? Did you not see him stab that guy in the stomach three times? He didn't just stab him, he just ran it right in. Never killed a man. Never killed a man. We'll ignore that you don't see that guy ever again. Yeah, that guy was just kind of rolling around on the ground afterwards. He's fine. So yeah, that's the end of chapter five. So I finally now get to play some shorter chapters. Woo! But first, we skip this. Oh, I say that because... Um, So, we're like, oh. so, oh yeah, so <coughs> the most important part of this game is everyone is fighting over this place called the Empty Lot. The whole thing about real estate is like everyone's, everyone knows who owns what in Kamurocho, and though people are buying and selling and trying to buy up all these places, no one can purchase the Empty Lot because no one knows who has the rights to it. And it's like, it's just a little place like in the middle of nowhere in the city. But it is like, the center point and that people could do so much with it if they had it and everyone is fighting over who's going to get the rights to the land and interestingly enough if you play the later games this area becomes the Millennium Tower and the Millennium Tower is basically where every final boss in Yakuza or fight in Yakuza or close enough to it or close enough to it takes Jesus. place <coughs> The Millennium Tower almost gets blown up and rebuilt on an annual basis in yep. the first few games because I, of all the boss fights that happened there. Did I hear a switch? It's a switch located. So Tachiban is going to chat to us about the empty lot because he thinks he knows what's up. Can anyone in the chat guess who might own the empty lot? It's me, I own it. No, it's me, it's Kyrian. <laughs> the answer may shock you. So yeah, the, the, the guy at the very start of the game that died after Kyrian beat him up was in fact killed in the empty lot, which is why they all kicked up a big stink about it. Yeah. His bloodstain's apparently still there. Because of the whole, like, no man's land thing. Uh, hello? Also, here's a sub story that we have to we have to complete. <coughs> this guy's actually very important. We're going to learn how to dodge random encounters. Whoa! It's money. money at them. I've never seen money before. My <coughs> oh, money! You really are the greatest money that ever money. <coughs> So there's, just like how there's Mr. Libido, there's Mr. Moneybags as well. One for each. It's like, ooh, how do you attract these girls? Yeah. Oh my god, it's money. Ah. Let's look away. Huh? Those guys just faded into existence. Hey, guy. So yeah, if you use that at the right time in front of encounter, or like before encounters get to you, they will be distracted and they won't find you and it'll let you like, get hey, away. You're like, hey, I got away. Wow. Amazing. <coughs> it's like Assassin's Creed. This truly is the Assassin's Creed of video games. And we'll never see that guy again. He's one of the many oh, people so you can get gain a friendship If with. you're under the age of 18, you might want to oh. look away soon. Yeah. Yeah. There's something a little bit inappropriate. 
You can make sure that you get right in there. Oh boy, do you oh, get right in there. baby. <laughs> that rich guy said I should go to theater square if I want to make mad bank. So, this is unlocking yet another side quest, or sub-story? This is the only sub-story in the entire game that we are actually obliged to complete. I always get this wrong. Yeah, so this unlocks another mini game that it's sort of like a gambling one. It's yeah, and it's basically paper, scissors, rock to the point where those are the three options you pick every yeah. round. You can um you can make a decent amount of money off it, but you're honestly just better at making money off real estate. But you do have to do this to com you do have to win one of these to complete the real estate royale thing. Well you don't have to win, but if you don't win it makes it a lot harder. So we have to show them that, hey, we're not afraid to burn I cash. I got cash to burn, and I'm not afraid to set it on fire. <coughs> I like the cut of your jib. Come on in. So oh, this is the cat, yeah. this is the Japan Cat Fight Club. What is this place? So you place bets on hot, uh, scantily clad girls as they wrestle. And they do pull out some sick wrestling moves, it must be said. Yeah, there's the upgraded version of that in Kiwami, which is Messer King. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Children, look away. <laughs> you. What? Gulp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hope you enjoyed that shot of ass. <laughs> the cat fights a high risk, high return. We're never going to go to those again. It would probably pass the cat attacks. Uh, no, I think it would be. Oh, actually, no, no. I have no concept of where I am. So, after seeing all those hot ladies, we've had it, enough. We need to go really and have took a rest. it out of He needs to go lie down. Good night, Kiryu. Sweet, Sweet dreams, dreams. Kiryu-chan. So he was given an ultimatum by the Dojima family to hand over Tachibana. Yeah, the Dojima like, family still kind of wants enough to do with him, which is just hand over Tachibana. And he's and like, no, okay. I can't hand over my boy. So now there's suddenly a massive manhunt for Kiryu. So at this point, it doesn't actually explicitly tell you where you should go. But we know where we're supposed to go. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. So going to the bathroom after this. That's fine. So we're gonna go he's gonna go back to the empty lot, because where else would he go? <coughs> What's down this alleyway? So welcome to Kiri's second gauntlet. And this is where Rush Style actually comes into play, as I'll demonstrate after this first up fight. So there's a set of six fights in this uh, gauntlet. Uh, this fight doesn't have a time limit attached to it, but the subsequent fights you've got to complete within the time, otherwise they will call reinforcements and just make it just that bit longer. And the time required is shortened with every subsequent fight. There is actually nothing useful here, freestyle-wise, so he's going to do it the old-fashioned way. There's yeah, there's shake. the salt, but that's not good. <coughs> I'd pick up that trash can, but it doesn't actually do much damage, so we shouldn't be. Well, okay, I guess I'm picking it up now. Yeah, Bye. it did jump. Here he is like, I guess it's time to By take the way, out the trash. I'm just gonna spike this guy on his head. Ooh. Never killed a man. He's fine. Yeah, see, because he got up and just punched him out. He's still moving. It's fine. And everyone's cheering There's him on. Nothing wrong here. So this is where we switch to rush style so we can uh, Yeah, this is Rush's best use. Getting between places quickly. So this will happen in all subsequent gauntlets. So second fight. And there's a guy going. 
get here in two minutes. So you have two minutes to complete the fight. So I'm just gonna go here. I'm gonna go here. So yeah, one of the abilities he got makes it so that he does more damage while fighting with the weapon. Which I think at full heat gauge. I think that was like the one proviso. So yeah. Yeah. Conveniently for a lot of these fights, there is a conveniently placed um, bicycle or puff slide post. Yeah, really helpful. Very convenient. Let's see how many times I can say convenient. So now he's got a minute to do this one. But that's okay. I also have a slide post. You can have this. You can have that. I guess they didn't. I guess they didn't see the signs. Ace of base do not approve. Out of my way, onlookers. It's like, yeah, that was sick. He's like, get out, please. I'm trying to escape. Uh, so there's bicycles right next to you here, but they're this not actually well, 30 obtainable ones. 30 seconds. So oh, no. this one is now 30 seconds, but there is Whatever a bicycle. Whatever shall I do? I'm going to grab out this bike. Yep. Good fight, good fight. <laughs> oh, stops. That's... Very brutal. Everyone, stop spectating. Jeez. <coughs> the fifth one? Yes, the fifth one. This is also 30 seconds, or is this on This time? is also 30 seconds. So this is the last of the timed ones. The last one just has a mini boss. I'm just gonna grab this sign first. Do and be done. You know he had to do it to him. I'm not going to use my heat gauge. No, I good need idea. it for this guy. Um, I don't have to change the rush style because the trigger here is just here. Although, actually, no, I need rush style. Never mind. Uh, so, this big guy has way more health than everyone else, who would have thought? So here's what we're going to do we're going to go over here. Grab it. Oh, oh. sick drop kick. Whoops. Oh, oh. I didn't actually want you to do that. He's a very mobile big man. But he's now a very dead big man. What's going on, big man? Oh, he's not. He's not dead. Yeah. That's fine, you can get he dead back for the next fight. Huh, there's a bike here, I guess. Should have just dug that wheel in his face. And that's that gauntlet. That was a good gauntlet. There is a really cool boss fight coming up. So we'll skip this. So a pro so a hooker has been like, hey, you can come through here. And then <coughs> it's just that you can go to the sewers here, but unfortunately it was a setup. So I'll skip this cutscene. I can skip the next cutscene, but I'm just gonna let this play. Yeah, this is this one's worth seeing. It's not even that long, so. Running through the sewer. Hey, it's worth it. It's totally worth it. I mean, watch this. Who remembers the guy from chapter one? Okay, so, so what do you do if a guy with a motorbike and a steel pipe is coming to you in the alley, or in a sewer? Just go. <laughs> Just put your fists up. Steel guard. I mean, it worked. It worked. And then it's about at this point where you can't actually skip the cutscene. Yeah. So you need the context for why Kiryu is lying on the ground and this guy is in the sewer and there's that light in the distance. What is that? Enjoy the slow build up to his boss music here. I love this guy. <coughs> He's such an asshole. He, he grew on me as the yeah. game progressed. I'm like, yeah. My boy. Yeah, the man who gets beat down is not the loser. The guy who can't tough it out to the end, he's the one who loses. 
don't think he understands how it works. Well, at least Kiryu, Kiryu is kind of selling the fact that he got in that his arms got like whacked by a guy with pipe who was riding Whilst a riding motorbike. A motorbike with massive momentum behind it. Swedja. Swedja. Kuze, you owe us money. Well, actually, I'll get it out of You'll get it. You'll get it. <laughs> In case it wasn't obvious, he's the recurring boss. Yep. Sledger. Yeah. <laughs> Just knows. Did you not see him block when the guy was on the motorbike? So here's something really convenient. Well, if he blocks, we won't worry about that yet. Okay. Hey, CP, that's nice. So the bosses don't know how to deal with that uh, shoulder tackle move. Yeah, so if you hold down um, triangle for that shoulder tackle move, he's just going to stop blocking like so. Drop his guard so I just knock him down. Oh, there you go, he's caged. Okay, that's fine. Drop his guard. Bye. Yeah, he just, he just, I love the way his crowbar just drops. Whoa. He just kind of gives up. Even with his aura up, I can still do it. Oh, he fell. Just keep stomping his balls. It's fine. Oh no, he's killing things. And that's the end of Kuse. So then there's a whole sequence with um, Awano, but we skip it because he just kind of stands in a club, hangs out with a girl, then shoots the girl at the end for no real reason other than he's mad. Look at me. So she's dead, but that wasn't Kiryu or Majima, so it's fine. Also, Mishiki tries to kill Kiryu, but that's also fine. So one of the last times I played this sequence, one of the last times I played this sequence, I ran into Mr. Shakedown at every turn. So it was supposed to be like a 10 second sequence and it took me uh, a couple of minutes. So we've put Makoto in a storeroom to keep her safe. It's a bit sus, but you know, it's the best we could do. It's actually from the guy at Odyssey and he's all like, he's all like, well, you owe me one now. And, then, and Majima says some cool stuff about like how business, how the, the fact that the Odyssey and the Grand are um, competing makes the town so great and everything. So he's telling us about the cabaret clubs. Cabaret clubs are Majima's side story, like how um, Kiryu has real estate real. It unlocks Mad Dog style, which unfortunately we can't get. It's a really powerful style that's all about like counter-attacking and using a knife. No? Even though you probably totally should with some of those moves. So we are going to go back to the massage parlor. Cat. And then run into Mr. Shakedown. No, thank God we didn't. What? What?
that was I was pressing X on the door, but I guess they got to me first, and I was a bit slow. So we go out to the massage parlor. We find out he's not there. But we know he's at a Mahjong place. Mahjong is a mini game you can play in this series. We're not going to. It's bad. And makes no sense. I'm trying to hug this wall to avoid running into a sub story. Yeah, hanging in there. Hanging in there. Oh, yeah. so that's facing the right way, is it? Yep, so. Hello, massive man. <laughs> See, he's fine. <coughs> there we go. Yep. This is more dialogue that you can't really skip, and it's really annoying. Godohando. Godohando. Uh, excuse me. Hmm? Good game. <laughs> <laughs> God hand three on IG and imagine babies. <laughs> I skip yet? No. Nope. This is all I've Yeah. Just have to listen to this entire conversation about Mahjong and also why aren't you dead? She's alive, right? Or she totally died. The You've never killed before, have you see? See? <laughs> nope, never happened. Nah, the the entire plot with this is he's is like they're asking him to kill and he's all like, Ooh, I can't do it. It's like Lara Croft where she's all like, I had to kill someone and then like she's slaughtering groups of people. In the next scene. To pull out the bow and arrow and shoot everyone in the head. I'm so tormented by my bloodlust. <coughs> oh look, massive man won the game of Marshall. The So I'm trying to find out why, Ma why Makoto is a target. We don't know. <coughs> Hello, Chinese underground dock. That man is after you. Those three on the left look like they photoshopped into that. Probably. We go to Photoshop. <coughs> He's holding a Chinese broadsword. Damn you! <laughs> if I can't tell who you work for, I'm just gonna kill you. Safer. It's the Chinese way, apparently. So one of the other benefits of breakdancing style is when there's a bunch of furniture around. Because they will take damage from furniture flung at them along on top of just the basic breakdancing ability. <coughs> that went really well. Despite that mess up at the start, it went... I mean, they, they all just separated at the start and you still now got I them with the second combo. Now I can finally skip cutscenes! Amazing! I'm not gonna lie, I completely forgot that was a chapter. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I 
back to the warehouse. Because yeah, that's where he put my cup. Oh no! Oh no! After all my going, I'm going to avoid this this uh, sub story. I'm so glad I avoided this sub story. His name is Aaron Coon. He's trying to run errands for this girl. Yeah. Yeah. That's about par for the course of this game. <sighs> like, oh no, there's a cutscene. Let's just turn around. <laughs> or just fade. <sighs> <coughs> I'm like so paranoid I'm gonna run into Mr. Shakedown. Yeah, well at least you don't need your money anymore. Yeah, except for taxis. But I can get that back from like a random encounter. Cat. Kitty! <laughs> <laughs> Remember that part. <laughs> now I have to buy her some food because she's sad because of all the stuff she that's happened. She won't talk because she's traumatized. She's also blind because she's traumatized. I don't know why I'm seeing that. Trauma! <coughs> well, I mean, you're not going to find out about it, so we might as well tell you. Kitty. <coughs> Taxi! Yep. So, we need to get her some takoyaki. <coughs> um, we need it to be piping hot. You can actually, if you sit for 15 minutes, let it go cold and get an achievement, but then you gotta buy it again. I found that out the hard way because I was messing around after buying it. I'm like, oh, cool, trophy. Oh, Makoto doesn't want it cold. You don't say. That was weird. Buy a Tokiyaki. Yeah, I, I thought I had the place to get it. It is Pipping Hoot. Pipping Hoot. Okay, got the Tokiyaki. I've got 15 minutes to deliver it. Wonder if that counts now when you go to Sega. Probably. Let's test it. No, don't. No. Worry. <laughs> we ain't got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Oh, Kitty. Kitty. <laughs> this is the thing I started doing every time we go to that alleyway. I did too. Every time I'm like, like cat. Now she's sad, and she's telling us about how she's sad because some dark stuff happened in her past. But Lee was the one but to help. That was all pretty dark. Let's go to let's go to a cabaret club instead. In in um Yakuza Six, there's a side quest where you can <coughs> feed cats and then get them to go to a cat cafe. It is adorable. So, do you guys want to see me actually do this side quest? Or just like put down the controller for three minutes? We probably should just put the controller down. <laughs> ah. Well, I guess it should take a while to set up. Yeah. Which means this, this coming up will be a great time to plug incentives and talk about the charity and stuff. Just Actually, you might as well go for it now. I'm just going to skip through some dialogue. We're learning about this cabaret club. It's not very good. There's nothing happening here. Nothing happens. We're going to learn to manage it, which you can do and spend a long time <coughs> on it. Talk about them, yeah. Yeah, go nuts. If there's any, you can read them, but. Current incentives stuff. are uh, the Lufia 2. Uh, Lufia 2, to name a character, currently in the lead is Jelly by uh, $11.90. Uh, the Drake percent in 007 Nightfire, $25.65 out of 50. Uh, some Xenoblade Chronicles Super Bosses Bid War, currently got nothing on any of the five choices. Even if you just put a dollar towards it, you would be able to get what you want. And then Crash Team Racing, plays either Coco or Engine. Uh, Engine is currently in the lead by $4.54. Alright. So how's everyone doing at this three three forty five in the morning? You got no time to change the clocks. Yeah, I was I was doing conversion. Alright. 
so there is like a whole side quest thing where you have to like show people the tables and that, but that action every time you do an action, it uh, takes more time. So we're just gonna be a really bad manager and just like let people be disappointed. Um, so we're the Australian speedrun marathon for like anyone who's watching. Um, we are raising money for Beyond Blue. How much have we raised so far? I can't see, so. 2,500, we have raised 2,500 dollars, which is amazing, we're smashing it. If we can reach, the, if we can reach, uh, 30, uh, 3,000 by, uh, by the end of tomorrow, uh, end of our a uh, UniSA leg, that'd be fantastic. And I think we can do it, as long as people get donations in, which I know now is probably like the worst possible time to plug it, but hey. <laughs> You know, a few Americans who want to, you know, see some incentives met, donate to a great cause. Um, we're here at UniSA for the week, and, oh, for the, today, yesterday? <laughs> today, and they've been graciously giving us space and tech support and all this amazing stuff for the last couple of years now, and we are all really appreciative, and we'll be at AFCON over the weekend, which we've also been at for a couple of years, and we partnered with them. And they are, it's it's a great venue, it's a great week of speed gaming, lots of great games coming up later on. Um, got to plug Luffy 2 next, Ancient Cave is hilarious to watch. By the way, Luffy 2 is the greatest video game of all time, FYI. Yeah, that's it. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> no, you're supposed to say Yakuza 0 is. No, 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 Yakuza 0 is the best game of 2017. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Uh, in Japan, it came out in 2015, but um, we only got it last year, so both it, technically it only correct. Came out in English. In... By the way, there's the uh, if you haven't already, if you don't have a PS4, you can buy this game on Steam for twenty dollars, and it's coming out August first, and you totally should do it. <laughs> do it right now. Well, we only really have the what what one you see is English literally text. all it is. It's just uh. I don't think it makes much difference because you still have to like anything that you anything that you can't skip through. You're waiting for the Japanese dialogue to finish anyway. So I did a terrible job at managing the cabaret. <laughs> I actually lost money, but it's okay. You don't need that money. And they're like, wow, Majima, you're really great at running this. I'm like, yeah, I know. What a girl. Thanks for coming, door. Mm -hmm. No, you have to sit through that three minutes. Yeah, that was the fastest way of doing it by putting the controller down. Because each, uh, yeah, each time you take an action to like serve someone on that, it stops the timer. Okay, yeah, so the co-op is basically a gimmick. We decided that um, we wanted to do this, but because it's like a longer haul run and we're old, um, that we would sort of split it because there's two protagonists and like two playable or two playable characters. So PSX would play the Kiryu sections and I'd play all the Majima sections because I am much better playing at Majima than I am at Kiryu. <laughs> It just works out this way. It works. It just works. So, it's not r like a real thing, but we have fun with it. It was just something we randomly came up with like late we're last doing, year. We're, like, we're doing just the any percent Hey, what route. if we ran this game? Ooh, I yeah. like it. Just like, going, ooh, what would the Yakuza 0 speed run be like? And then we just decided to do this. I am going to level up my sprint. Oh yeah, you I have to do that. Because I forgot that I had to do that. Where was that? I don't know, but this is probably like the best place to do it. I have to try and avoid this sub story. You already upgraded Breaker the second time, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I've already done all my upgrades. Where did you get all that money? <coughs> yep. Alright. 
it, so I go back to the grand. Back to the grand. Um, well, this isn't as slow as I expected. <laughs> hmm? There's a donation. Yeah, go ahead. We have a donation from PSX Freak 101. <laughs> gave fifty-four dollars and six cents. Greetings from the runner's couch. First time viewer, long time oh donator. <laughs> Put this towards the runner's choice. Save the frames. Did well, we'll work it out at the other run. Did you see Mr. Shakedown just there? Yeah, that's why I freaked out. Also, thanks for the donation, PSX. Well, I, I was trying to see if I could do it with, during that, and I did with about thirty seconds to spare. Oh, that's what you were doing. Should that's what I was doing. Just rudely staring at my phone for two and a half minutes. Don't worry, I was talking out my ass for two and a half minutes. <laughs> I don't actually know where to put that. Um, Luffy has been met. Luffy has been met. Uh, we don't really need to worry about the name. Um, and no one else has got on board the Mario Kart train yet. Yeah, but that's still for a few days. That's not supposed to be out of the weekend. Ha, ah, nice. Oh. Pretty sure it's slightly faster to sneak past him. Ah, Chinese underground dock san ah. Or is it underground Chinese dock? No, it's underground Chinese dock. Ah, oh, generous manager san Generous manager san Chinese I was right the first time. So, there's all the stuff with the Chinese going on. We need to go give the mo uh, massive man his medicine. Was that later? Um, no, this is here. Well, when you walk out, he goes, oh, by the way. No. Yeah, this, yeah, this is him going, you need to go back to your house and go talk to me. I don't know if we mentioned, but that big guy's name is Lee, and obviously not Makoto Makimura because that's the girl. <laughs> no, chapter 8 is where he turns on me. I love Generous Manager san. Generous Manager. <laughs> Lee's being awful <coughs> roundabout. He'll make his. Did I forget to see money bags? No. Do I go do that now? Um, I don't know if he's there yet, but you get to say hi to an old friend. He's I like, guess. don't you remember me? Like, I really don't. <coughs> <coughs> you can tell we fought before. I have bandages on my face. Oh, look, you brought a crowd of goons. Last night. I wonder what I'll have to do. Oh, it's that guy. <laughs> the wannabe no. kidnapper. Spoilers, he's still holding a gun. Everyone else is holding bats and lead pipes. <laughs> We're a good fighting affair. So again, would rather prioritize Oishi. He's got a gun. And he's apparently got moves, wow. Alright. That was a solid fight. He was bueno. Who are you? <coughs> well, Saga was here. So, have you killed that guy yet? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, totally on it. Yeah, totally on it, you guys. I'd sooner ask a telephone form and come to you with my problems. 
I like that you're not able to skip that line. Time to go home. Cool, you dodged that guy. Fern guy. Hi, Lee. I got a sick plan for you. <coughs> <Thank> you, babe. <coughs> Massage Clinic has a secret escape room that'll let us travel around town without being seen as easily. Because that makes sense. That's where I hide all my secret passages. At the massage parlor. Time to just act like I'm strolling through town casually. Have you lost control of your lives? I was waiting for him to be there. <coughs> wow, rude. <laughs> I'm gonna skip this time. Oh, I'm gonna have a massage inconspicuously. Says Majima. I hope no one thinks I'm doing anything conspicuous by going to the massage parlor that I have conspicuously been visiting recently. But never before this week. There's a push. So hey, let's go to Club Sunshine. Oh, yeah, let's just do Club Sunshine instead. I don't think you're allowed to go down that way. Oh yeah. Because that'll be like right where I just came from. Yeah. Oh yeah, that uh, subquest is gone for the moment. Because railroading. Yeah, the fortunate part about being railroaded in this game is that, yeah. Sub stories are just gone. Don't have to worry about those. Whoops. Oh, we can't take the. Oh, there it is. Kitty. Kitty. Nobody's looking. So. Lee comes to us with this great plan. He's like, you know what? We're just going to like get you to kill another chick who just happens to look like her. But no one will miss that girl. It's fine. <coughs> and Majum is like, no, I don't want to kill someone. Your I've plan never killed sucks. Anyone. I don't like it. I don't like your plan. It sucks. Yeah, so we're learning Makoto's tragic backstory that she was sold to she was sold to the Korean mafia and like slave trade and she was made blind by the trauma of being sold as a slave. So and she reminds him of his lo his daughter who died, so he's like feeling bad, I guess. Yeah. She just kinda of latched onto him. Like, yep, it's fine. I will look after this girl. And he has. Huh? You're just gonna run away again? I wish I could skip this. Yeah. 
that's annoyingly unskippable. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? He's falling the wrong way. How rude. Remember this one? It's back. Two QTEs this time. Oh. oh. Gotcha. Here. the job. <coughs> so I just went home to bed, I guess. It was very stressful. Well, it actually was. Massive man was attacking me again. Time to go back to work, I guess. You are completely railroaded to going back to work. As you can see from all the stop sign. Yep, they give you pocket tissues to waste space in your inventory. Apparently. Yeah, pocket tissues, very annoying. Isn't there usually a girl standing there wanting to be spoken to? Was that chapter right? Well, this was what I was telling me to go to. <coughs> Time to go back to Hogan Shikaika. Yep, we come all the way to work just to find out that, hey, Lee wants to talk to you back at yep. the massage parlor. I'm like, okay. Came all the way here to work. I guess I'm not Gotta working walk today. Slow Again. Walk around because I can't run around the workplace. For a manager of this grand, he doesn't spend much time working during this entire s game. Yeah. I guess he's got decent floor stuff. You can catch a cab straight yep. there. Oh, he, go, he goes to, he goes to a completely different, look, it's Mr. Shakedown. He's haunting us. He's haunting me. So here, Lee's like, hey, good job on that hit last night. And he's like, Nice what? job, Hitman. I threw the disguise in the trash. Yeah, because What's going someone, on? someone came up and did the hit for <coughs> you. That's chapter seven. 
get to meet my favorite guy. He is pretty much the best guy in this game. Shagomosis. Okay. Second best, yes. You were right. Thank you for the correction. <laughs> and go back to work. I think here you can talk to Mr. Moneybags, I think. Scene. I'm gonna talk to this guy. Look at this cool busker on the street. Check out my music, bro. This guy is actually just trying to pay pay people money to listen to him. So now Manjima can do the cash throwing ability too. There's another there's another force. Well it's not force, you can't actually avoid it, but just so we can actually avoid encounters from this point onwards when we remember. This guy, Baja Battalion, this guy looks like a used car salesman. I forgot how long this actually was. Yeah, but so it's This is one of those six to one half dozen the other kind of things. Yeah. <laughs> is that so a whole bunch the, of you? Uh, befriending both of these guys also means you get you get the ability to transfer money between Kiryu and Majima. Yeah, it's great because Kiryu earns a lot more money. Yeah. Turns out real estate is a lot more lucrative than um, clubs. Who knew? Skip, 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 skip. Alright, oh, uh, we have skippers. Yeah. But here is a really cool character. Money. Nishitani. Nishitani. Let's skip that too. Straight into the fight. So b this is basically this game's Manjima. Hopare is Nishitani. Looks like he's really enjoying that. So this is the basic combo that will be used throughout the rest of the run for Majima. Except for once. Um, uh, the slugger part. Yeah, because hey, look, he's stun locked into the ground. Why does it what does it do to you? Uh, just leave it now, now. yeah. Because he should take enough damage here. Um, Nishitane can't die to this QTE, but he is gonna hurt. As long as I hit this one this time. Yeah. Oh. Straight in. And we're done. That was a, that was basically a perfect fight. So Nishitani's all like, oh no, I'm gonna call the cops on myself. I had fun. I'm not gonna tell you information yet, Majima. I wanna do more stuff with you because you seem like a cool guy. Spoilers, he was the one that did the hit on that girl. Yeah. Well, not spoilers, he actually tells you. Swedger. How are you even still talking since my. Police! Uh -oh. Yeah, he called the cops on himself, by the way. This was to force Majima's hand to actually fight him like he wanted. And hey, Nishitani got so, what he wanted. This is, yeah, he basically is Majima in this game, because when you see Majima in later games, he's basically acting like Nishitani is here. Um, <coughs> if you played Kawami, there's the great Majima Everywhere system, so that he will just pop up at every opportunity. You go to, the, you go to a cabaret club, there's Majima in a dress. <laughs> you go to the, the store, there he is, staring at you through the window. You go bowling, Majima's there, challenging you to a game, and dancing. Darts, pull. You walk down the road, he sets up a fake zombie apocalypse just to force you to fight him. Oh, 
but then you find out in Dead Souls that zombies are real. Mm -hmm. The Dead Souls is not canon. No. <laughs> and not considered very good. But it's got zombies, it's great. So I'm just gonna go to the office, I'm not gonna bother sitting on the floor, I'm just gonna go hide out there till, the, till it all reopens. Slow walking. Oh, that's what I'm thinking of. You can talk to her, but no. Well, I guess you can talk to me right now. I've always wondered what she actually one. said. Who's here? Look who it is. It's our old pal, Sagawa. When did you sneak in? He's just there being like, hey, Marjana, <coughs> I'm annoying. I'm annoying, huh? I'm annoying. I'm annoying, huh? <coughs> Excuse me. He knows Majima's lying. Because Majima just found out about this girl being killed, and he's all like, yeah, yeah, I totally did it. It was definitely me. Like, hell, why didn't you tell me straight away that, hey, you did the deed? Hmm. Well, I guess that's not impossible. He does not believe you for a second. Majima knows this, like, yeah. Let me keep lying through my teeth, it's fine. Oh, I'll put in that call to you. So maybe you can get back in the Yakuza now that you killed that girl. That you didn't Put in a good kill. word, because you did the kill. You killed the thing. Save the frames, kill the animals. Also, the club yeah. opened while you were upstairs. Yeah, that was a long conversation, apparently. Yeah, because look, it's suddenly full. Everyone just piled in. That was after Nishitani had bought the club out in the first place. This is where Chinese underground doc goes, <gasps> Lee forgot his medicine. Do you know where he is? <laughs> Ah, manager san Would I find you? Because I have 24 million yen. You have a taxi driver to. Also, you ride a taxi in Kawami. Majima's there. Yeah. <coughs> Kitty. Kitty. <laughs> it's like one of the last times we get to see That you. is the last time. So, Chinese underground doc totally threw us under the bus. Yep. <coughs> All these dudes who are like watching you in an early cutscene, and they're here now. So hey, who likes escort missions? So remember huh. how we had Marjorie McGee solid earlier? Now we get another one. Yep, Sons of Liberty. Let's go. This one is a lot more straightforward than the last one. Yep. <coughs> this is basically railroaded, so you'll follow the path. You can sneak around all the all the fights. Yeah, there's just a couple of forced ones along the way, but you can skip the rest. 
Why did they not group up? How rude. Very much so. Sometimes it just it'd is. It'd be like that. It'd be like that. Go, go. Go, go. Go, So you jump into that crowd. Yep. This one? Yep, and as soon as they turn around, you can jump out and you should be able to just go what? Right past them. Turn around. Every now and then. <coughs> so you should be able to go left immediately. You won't suspect the thing. Oh, yep. go. Uh, Skip that uh, hug the left hand wall. Just to ensure that the guys up top do not see you. And you're basically home free. Get that fight. Oh, a million yen vending machine. Yeah, stop that now. Uh, I wonder if we'll have a golden here. shot. Here. Well, I don't need this. Never killed, man. Definitely not dead. No, he's fine. See? Yeah, he just got up. And he was done. That's it, I think. Yep. We just have one forced encounter at the door. Yeah, you have one encounter. So it was just a. Uh, Chiropractor, yeah. <laughs> oh. He would have died if he had of been deaded. <laughs> he tried to hit Makoto. That's what you get, That's son. That's what you get? When you let your heart win. And then they're like, well, we're safe and we're going to hang out with Lee. And then there's a boss and it explodes and Lee is now dead. He actually died. Straight up. It wasn't your fault. It was kind of your fault, but you didn't actually do it. They, 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 just, they had to stop you somehow and they blew up a van. So these next two chapters are pretty short in comparison to what I've been playing all the, throughout this story so far. So we're trying to hide from the Dojima family now. It doesn't explicitly tell you where to hide. So I'm going to go catch a ride. I'm going to go over here. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> kind of stick out really well. Anyway, here's his great plan. Let's go back to my old family house, um, building. Nothing could possibly go wrong here. In three hours, so. We were halfway there, living on a prayer, etc. Whoops. So, spoilers, the Cosmo family office is not the right place to go. Uh, that's a save point, we don't want that. So, Raina, the lady who runs the Serena um, bar, found us. She's like, Kiryu, I'll look after you. This drinking hole that you've been to before. 
they totally won't suspect that you would be here. To be fair, Kiri had only ever been there like once. Yeah. Ran is like, good, you actually showed up. Yeah, this is unfortunately more of those dialogues you can't skip, you have to just listen to. So I'm just going to keep making clicking sounds. Click. She's going to look after that injury on his forehead. Oh yeah, we forgot to mention. Oh, wait, no, that's later, isn't it? No, that was at the end of chapter 6. Which with Nishiki. Oh, yeah. How he comes in to try and save you and like sneak you out of town. And then there's this whole cutscene where he takes you to the outskirts and he's all like, gives you a cigarette and he's like, enjoy it. And he points a gun at you and Kiri is just like, do it. You're a coward. And Nishiki's like, I can't do it. You made this friend. I love you so much, Kiri. The, the and Kiri is like, yeah, coward, get out of here. The, the yeah, best part is. is that Nishiki actually fires the gun. Kiri's like, no, no, you got to work on your aim. Aim it a little straighter. He's like, we can do it. You're so much better than me, Kiryu! Which is the entire plot of Yakuza 1. <laughs> I think Nishiki was playing XCOM. Yeah. Point blank range, and he missed. You have a 90% chance to steal. Nope. You get nothing, good day, sir. Same. Yep. That's why I just use Trussle. I started as theory. <laughs> By the way, hey, we staked this bar out, so, um, lol. Raina didn't deserve that. Raina didn't deserve anything she gets in this series. Spoiler, she doesn't get past one. Aww. Aww. Looking pretty gruesome, too. <coughs> Time for another back alley brawl. Well. First, we're going to brawl in the bar. You know what's great about this bar? There's all this furniture here. Yeah. Kiryu likes furniture. <laughs> you've got nowhere left in this world to go. You're right, you've cornered me. I think I might roll backwards. I'm going to roll backwards and see if I can make myself a little more room. Wait, what's he doing over there? He's doing a Neymar. Yeah, have that. <laughs> Neymar. What a hero. So yeah, we totally just defeated the entire Dojima family. Yep. Dojima. There's definitely no more goons. None whatsoever. Oh. oh. <laughs> well, this is awkward. Goons. Hired goons. Hired goons. No, no chairs out here, but there's, um... Nope. Is there a thing here? Oh, the cone's not going to do much. I think I just steal someone's baseball bat and just go from there. Yeah, just pretend you're Majima. Here's Kiryu's best impersonation, impression of Majima. <coughs> oh, actually, no. Let's do this. Roll, grab, press this button. We just clears. <laughs> oh, he's got a knife. Whoa, I don't like the that. Knife, the knife. Get rid of him. Actually, yeah. Yeah, enjoy that wall. All right. What's nice and fools? Ah! Oh, it broke. Let's do this again. Yay. Oh, he's got a taser. No, you can't have that. Oh, that guy just watching. You tried, buddy. Huh, <laughs> nice. Well, 
And that's the end of the Dojima family. The end. That's the end of it. Shit, no, not quite. Not yeah, these two just no-sold the entire fight, by the way. Ooh. See, it didn't kill anyone. The others are just having a nap. It was very tiring. Yeah, it's a good thing there's no more goons. Uh, oh. No more goons. Oh. Well, this is awkward. You know who's back? No, oh, look, it's Nishki the, and Kashwagi. Oh yeah, just there. It's, it's the guy we fought in the sewer. Look, it's the three lieutenants. He hadn't really seen the guy on the left yet. No, he doesn't seem very important, though. It's just a pencil pusher, it's fine. And Kuse's like, I've got this, guys, I swear. I can do it. Let me at him, bro. This is probably the easiest of Kuse's fights. Despite the Look fact that he's got brass knuckles. knuckles and he's brought some friends. That's right, I also brought a friend. The friend is... Dodging and grabbing this. Who wants um? He had some goons, they're gone now. Um, I don't want this anymore. Thank you. You know what his goons had? Uh, excuse me, hey, excuse me. I would like to pick up the knife, please. Oh, before my heat gauge runs out. Wait! Alright, fine. I was gonna grab heat. Alright, you can have. No, have that. He's not. He's happy. fine. He's still got, like, over a health bar. So this is a really convenient cutscene too, because I just got my heat gauge back. Hey Kuze, you want to stand up for a sec? Oh. And that's the end of that. No, he comes no. back. I mean, if you let this cutscene play, he continues fighting. He comes back twice more. <laughs> and even then, I do, he's still not dead. He's still not dead. He just goes to jail. He presumably. just gets jailed. Anyway, there's a cutscene where Tachibana drives through the street madly. You and find as out he's actually, like, he's, he's on dialysis. He's not really well. And also, while he's driving away, he's like, oh, I haven't really done this before. But he's like, Kiryu, the fact that you would do this for someone you barely know, it shows that you, even though you're naive, you have a good heart and all this stuff. And now we're visiting him in hospital. By the way, you might remember they mentioned... Oh, does, does it show the thing? Hmm? The tattoo? Um, I think they talked about tattoo. Because I think they showed it just before. Oh, yeah, they, they, they flashed it up briefly. there's this whole thing oh. about how Makoto and Lee were looking for a man with a bad tattoo. And then that's the scene where you see Tachibana's arm and he's got the bad tattoo. And it's all like, ooh, it's all connected. It's a really awkward <laughs> alleyway. Um, we run ahead of uh, Oda specifically here because he will stop and talk to that idiot we just ran past if we just follow him. Ain't got no time for that Oda. So we're in Little Asia. We're going to talk to the, I guess, leader of Little Asia. Oh. Yeah, Elder Chen. Elder Chen. Okay, good chat. Let's move on with the plot. He's all like, I don't trust you, Japanese man. I'm like, that's fair. I'm not like you, I guess. I'm not like other guys. Oh, whoops. Skip that. <laughs> Go to West Park. Oh boy, the homeless. The West Park, which is situated on the northeastern side of the city. Don't think about that too much. There's always a set of goons there. You literally can't enter this park until this very point. Is this where you have that really long battle, or is that later? This is the really drawn out cutscene you can't skip, which is a nothing homeless thing. Oh, good, I'm gonna go to the park. Yeah, no, <laughs> you've got plenty of time because, yeah, the gauntlets afterwards, so it's fine. So 
there's going to be a lot more of mashing X. So we're basically finding somewhere to sleep for the night because he's still a wanted man at this point. They're like, hey, here's a good hiding place. Go sleep with the bums in this park. Okay. <laughs> Sounds legit. He sure is dressed like a bum, I guess. <clears throat> Feel free to plug stuff or something for the next few minutes because I'm just going to be mashing X and then there'll be a fight. In mind that all donations go to Beyond Blue, a charity which strives towards improving awareness of, of and reducing the stigma towards anxiety and depression. It is a charity that we in the ASM team believe in strongly and that hunts why we're supporting them for the third year in a row. Anyone who can donate, we truly appreciate, but anyone who can't, we understand and we still appreciate your support regardless. The only Incentives seem to be remaining are bid wars for Luthia 2 to name the character and for Crash Team Racing to play as either Coco or Ingen or the Xenoblade Chronicles Super Bosses bid war. So these guys are homeless hunters. They literally just go around looking for homeless men to beat up because it's fun. That's literally it. And Kiryu's the hero. Well, becomes the hero. <laughs> Kiryu's like, sup? I'm also homeless. Which is technically true because his house did get burnt down back in chapter 6. Which I only just remembered. You think prison is the worst punishment out there? You've got a lot to learn about the world. Cave is going. Like no. Hopeless hunters. I have more than enough of my last upgrades already. I probably should have bought it now because uh, one of them is a power upgrade. Actually, this is such a waste of a fight. It's so unnecessary and takes so long to set up. You have more than enough money to get your upgrade. Yeah, because um, Power Search 2 is 100 mil. I think he potentially is 30. I was so used to just mashing so that through that entire sequence. pretty much sequence. a waste of time. Just to be like, hey, homeless people are cool. There is really, there isn't really much rhyme and reason to it, honestly. So Tachiban is looking for us. All right. Oh, I've traveled ten kilometers on foot. It's twenty. Oh no, you've got ten off. Of it. Yeah. Hi, Oda. You might want to buy the thing. Oh, well, no. When the gauntlet starts, I'll just buy it. 
Not just because it actually says that. <laughs> so we're getting a road trip. Do you buy that um, one ability then, or do you wait uh, till later. the end game? Okay. Uh, chapter so fourteen the before Kuze four. So here, Tachibana's all like, "Okay, I'm going to buy Kiryu's freedom off you, and I'm going to give you like a billion yen." <coughs> And I think that was a down payment of a billion yen. Yeah. Because he's like, like okay. he's such a good guy, such a good friend, and he's worth more than money. There's a few goons here, so we, we better make this a little easier for us. Yep. Enough. Oh, not that one. Yeah, hello? Nope. That one. So I'm going to buy one more ability by the end of this run now. That's a lot of games. If I manage to... Actually, you know what? Let me go over here. Let's, let's, that's not the one I wanted, but okay. You also come here and jump the one. Yep. Because hey, in Kiwami, this is also the first one of the game. And then two, you infiltrate this place. Ah, uh, excuse me. Sir, I'd like you to sit down. Oh, I was hoping you'd be close enough. Oh well. Duh, I didn't quick change now. Uh, here's the only door you actually punch down by yourself. I hope you enjoyed that. So I switched to beast mode here. Because we're going to QTE our way into the, uh, not QTE, um, cutscene our way into the next room. And I will want to grab a lantern straight away. So there's these giant lanterns littered all throughout the Tojo clan um, headquarters, which, uh, your best friend for this. Hi. I was going to grab this. Those two will actually help you, and you can get, if you're playing this, you get an achievement for doing a combination attack with that Ah, Would you like a lantern, sir? No? Oh. <laughs> well, that's awkward. That guy's got a sword. Well, he had a sword. It's gone now. Here, you never killed a man. Alright, so I'm gonna throw this away. I don't want it anymore. I'm gonna run over here. This guy's got a gun. Into it? Yeah, I did. What? I moved into that bullet. That was great. You, sir, I would like your gun. Never I killed a man. Never. Oh, more goons. I wonder what we can do here. Okay. Oh, I know, that's... No, no. Odo. Here's a guy with a katana. Hey, Odo, you got any good ideas? Yeah. yeah! This hero. Oh, button mashing. Never killed a man. That's alright, he's not dead. Oh, yeah, he isn't. Oh, uh, whoops. Wow. Okay, okay bye frames. <laughs> I haven't seen the frames do that before. Yeah, that's near. Hmm. <laughs> well, we can. Actually, in uh, Yakuza 2, you do fight a tiger. Yep. You fight some bears, too. In, um, Four? Four, I think. Nope. Any one. I don't think he kills the bears. Or tigers. He definitely doesn't kill the tigers, he just knocks them out, but the guy who owns the tigers then dies to someone else who happened to be there. Like, why did we bother? Alright, because Haruka got kidnapped again. Haruka There's... is the Maya Fade. <laughs> oh yeah, Tachibana was totally holding someone so he could do a cool heat move together, but I'm like, nah. 
Also, we had that guy against the wall, but now he's open defense for us. It's very nice of him. Oh, I'm gonna run through this courtyard. Holy dooly. Okay. Hey, I got a gift for you guys. Bye. Uh, hello. These landings are a lot less, um, sturdy. Tell ya, so you knock out a few of them and... Hey, it's another guy with a katana. Yo, Oda, hit us up with a sword. Oh, okay. Guess not. No, let's walk away. Bye. Oh, I, there was one right there, okay. No, you're just doing it to give yourself more time to be able to move that I can hit. And now you can say bye to the sword guy. He's the annoying one of this entire fight. Never, never just, killed him. Never killed him, man. No, stop saying that. Why? It's true. Oh, I was hoping to catch his head on the way down. That's not how it works, but I was hoping. Yeah, whatever. <coughs> that probably wasn't necessary. Wow! What's he doing? Dying. Oh, okay. That's the gauntlet. That's a fun gauntlet. We skip this. That's pretty much it. That's ten. the end of chapter 10 once I get to the last landmark. Oh, yeah, so then you have this thing where you learn. <coughs> is that where you learn who the owner This is where you learn who actually owns the empty lot. So that whole empty lot, the whole drama about who owns it, spoilers. Turns out Makoto is the legal owner of it. And that's how this is all connected. This poor blind girl who got gifted it by her grandfather and didn't know she owned it, and now all the Yakuza are after her because she want, because they want the land. And they could have at least dropped us off close by. Yeah. No, we'll just no, drop they, you they the drop office. you off here specifically so you can do real estate royale. Actually, yeah. They explicitly say, hey, before we go to where Makoto lives, maybe you should tie up some loose ends, like this, the mini game that we want you to play. I'm like, no. It's like, it's worth playing in casual playthrough. I know the arrows are pointing top right, but I, I kind of want to catch a taxi. But yeah, it's definitely worth doing the, the mini games, or side story, side quests, and the big mini games in casual play, because then you get the best skills in the game, or get the best fighting style. Styles. It's looking for the word Flesh Park. That's not what it's called. Yeah. Go. We have a donation from Lauren Gamel, who gave twenty-one dollars and sixty-two cents. Yes. <laughs> Hell yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So we're just going back to Little Asia. Oh. No. I forgot Never about happened him. Before. I completely forgot about him. Whoops. I'm also used to proccing this by mistake earlier. Oh well. I so haven't yeah, seen you do it in a full do it in a full run before. Yeah, this is true. So his his training thing is to dodge for sixty seconds. That's like what, six sub six or seven sub stories at this point? Seven I think we're up to. I said I'd donate based on how many sub-stories. Well, I didn't say that loud. I was thinking it. You did. I did. A car, the, the alleyway, there we go. So yeah. Master Chen is kind of an information guru kind of guy. Tells that the person that you in the empty lot is in search and bore Like, we all gasp at which the name, but they're like, oh, that's nice. Which Let's is, go find out who that is. Which is where Majima is. <coughs> so the next two Majima chapters are actually really short. This is probably the hardest chapter. It is the hardest, but it is thankfully quite short. It's five fights. This three is of them the one rough. time you will see me use a style that isn't Breaker as is the main style for fights. The Makoto's been kidnapped. 
Maja is like, oh no, I have to find her. Sagawa beats him up for lying. And he's all like, well, Majima, you're gonna have to work hard to make it up for this. Majima's like, well, I'll go find um, Nishitani's people. Remember that time Shakedown spawned in this, this cutscene? Yeah. Also, here's Eren Kuhn. This is why you don't want to spawn an Eren Kuhn. <coughs> CP that we're not going to spend. Oh my <laughs> no. I should have. No. I should have. But I would have probably <coughs> died. Yeah. Although the only person that needs money now is Kiryu. Majima's doesn't really matter as much. Yeah, but I would like to have the money so I don't, so I don't have to like... I mean, I'd get money off these people and it would still do me for the rest of the run, but... They're the gun guys, so I have to go to them first, because guns... Guns hurt in this game, I don't know if that was made clear. Oh, nice. A dachi. Sick. One combo. So, we're gonna go talk to a guy called Billiken, who will put us in contact with Nishitani. He's not there, is he? Nope. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Catchy taxi. See? So, there's two different Mr. Shakedowns for each area. And. The more times you beat them up, the more money they end up getting because <coughs> they get harder and harder. Wait for it. Oh. <laughs> really? Doesn't matter. Here's Bill again. So he's going to take us. He's like, well, I'll give you the information, but we've set up this illegal prison dogfight ring. That we just have prisoners who uh, beat the hell out of each other for everyone's entertainment. We place bets on it. Um, you win three matches and I'll tell you what you need to know. And this is a theme that comes up throughout the entire Yakuza series. Here's a Coliseum. Do three fights. We'll progress this is the story. the intro to the Coliseum. These are the three hardest fights for Majima. Because these people know how to block. <coughs> so yeah, and it actually it comes up in Kiwami as well, it's like, if you want information, you have to beat these three people in a coliseum. And Majima's in 2 is like, hey, let's fight, okay, in my coliseum. <laughs> so yeah. Spoilers, we're not using Breaker Style here. Nope. I don't know if you guys were paying attention earlier, but she did upgrade Thug Style briefly. Once. So, so we're fighting a clown. <laughs> so in any fighting game, how do you stop people who block? You grab them, you throw them. And then you go heat move. On the ground attack. Slap them, slap them. Great. Oh. See, he's played this game too. So fortunately, that throw gives you enough uh, heat gauge to follow it up with a heat move on the ground. Hey, quick fadeaway, nice. <laughs> and so this is how you get through these three. You can use breaker style against these three, but it's not reliable because of their ability to block. So instead we'll just grab him. Hurricane Rana. Knee to the gut close up of his face. Rinse. Another repeat. Ooh, got a quick grab. <coughs> yeah, 
There we go. Perfect. So they have a short aura animation. That was actually a really good that was security was 100% curse. perfect. They have a short aura animation where they're invincible for a bit, so but at the end of it you can grab them. Scene, oh, that's right, you can hear this announcer is amazing. Bilkin's like, eh, yeah. The legend himself. It's Kiryu. It's Kiryu. We're, we're fighting a boxer. The world champion of accidental infight deaths. I hope you guys enjoyed Punch Out earlier if any of you saw it. <laughs> well, I don't think the runner saw it. The runner definitely didn't see it, but. <laughs> That's a good one. See how this guy's name is Dead Punch. Shut down. That'd be nice, but oh well. I guess we'll just grab him. I think he does have a kicking attack, actually. What? Okay. Oh, that's actually a really smart setup. So, a note about repeating um, heat attacks, the case was obvious. Um, they will do less damage the more you repeat them over and over again. But here we're just putting them in an infinite loop, so it doesn't matter. A safe infinite loop. Nice. Really? And that's all of the thug style used in the game for the three hardest fights, which are now done. That's probably the best Colosseum you've had. Uh, yeah, that was a that really was good Colosseum. I only took damage on Ginger Chapman. Oh, yeah, I can't skip this. No, it's just doing like talking about his tragic past or whatever. We don't care. Basically, Nishitani was a messed up boy from the beginning. And a crackpot. Maja was like, hmm. Maja was like, I can use this later. Keep for future reference. <coughs> Look at those guys just awkwardly running. It's great. Oh god, it's a cutscene run away. So we're going to jail. We're gonna go see Nishitani again. Turns out the safest place for him is actually jail. He's just like, yeah, I can get a good night's sleep, no one's harassing me. It's great. They provide me food, water, cigarettes. What more could you want? Also, my friends get to hang out with me. Yay. <laughs> and he's just like, Majima, I want to fight you. Did that just cut to the wall? Oh, because I... We're gonna fight him again. Hey, remember this fight? Bye, Thug Style. I hope you enjoyed being relevant for five. Ah, oh, damn it, he has to get up. Uh oh, he has the knife. Oh, 
Might have to use a healing item. It's like, yeah, that's fine. I have not through my leg. It's fine. <coughs> oh, I didn't get to show off this stuff. Yeah, so if if she was actually able to get the combo right, unfortunately, that would happen. be the that would be the. Victory it would actually victory. fade away right there and look hilarious, but it's also far quicker. But yeah, the fight still worked out in the end. Yeah, so. it, it's to make up for the good Coliseum luck. <laughs> and unfortunately, Nishitani doesn't actually survive this cutscene. Nope. He um a uh, cop comes in who's corrupt and kills him. And Billigan. And that's it. He's dead. He got paid off by someone. But who? It was me. <laughs> yes, it was definitely the Yakuza. The drama and intrigue <laughs> continues. Uh, Sagawa's all like, what the hell, Majima? I don't know what's going on. You're like, yeah, we know you don't know what's going on. Slowly but surely, Sagawa knows less and less about what's going on around him. And now he's going to take me to a gauntlet. Yep, chapter 12 is just one gauntlet. This is actually a pretty short chapter as well. Because <coughs> this is all it is. Uh, 16 and a finale, so we're getting pretty close. And my next two chapters are pretty short. There's really not that much in my next two either, yeah. after this one. Well, start of 16 is... I'll start of 16 is slow, but not much happens. You guys will see. There is an unfortunately long dialogue part here that I can't skip. Oh yeah, I get to do shooty So, shooty we game. found out Makoto's been taken here, so we're gonna go and... Uh, storm it. And Sago was like, don't worry guys, I have a gun. <coughs> oh yeah, and then this other group is called the Nikyo Consortium, and they're also a group of Yakuza. And their leader, Sarah, becomes the leader of the Tojo at the end of this game, I think. Yep, as a result of... Well... But okay. then we have to defeat him in a later game. Because he becomes corrupt. No, he just dies. No, he just dies off. Okay. He just dies off screen. It's like not relevant, apparently. Even though he's super relevant to the story of one. <coughs> he's just trying to politely tell you to leave. You're like, no. You have something I want. It's like killing Priscilla in Dark Souls. <laughs> Please leave. Please no, okay. You have souls. <laughs>。<laughs><笑><笑> Alright, so this is a really interesting gauntlet. Do, do I need to heal? I think you get a free heal at yeah, the start of the chapter. The only chapter you don't get a free heal in is the finale, and that's only for Kiryu for some reason. How did that not touch you? Favorite method of opening doors? Punching people through them.
use visual cues a lot to um, tell which is the right combo. It's the one that, it's the Beyblade one because you get on the ground and are able to move around during it. And you can hit everyone when they're locked down, as opposed to like the offspin one, which can Just work on hard. stunning bosses that can't be knocked down, but is not that useful otherwise. Also, there's a whole bunch of people in this set actually like throwing things at you. And that's annoying. When we can try and focus on people that throw stuff. Because that will break your combo. It's like guns, really. Like this guy with his fist. Well, he's gone now. <coughs> Oh, here's a great room. That seems a proc really What well. the? Hi. Hi. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Got a punch through a wall, get pulled into a door, <coughs> and then try and run to the back of the room because this guy's here. There we go. That's the biggest concern of this room because he's got projectiles. No, like projectiles. That's a way to get out of this room. <coughs> Took a moment there. Yeah, it's really weird. I don't want to grab that. Might as well. Oh no. So if you miss that QT, you end up fighting three more goons before this room. We don't want that. I realize that it unclipped from me. And now he's some more dudes in Kimono. Guy who has projectile fans. And he also annoying. knows how to block. I was going to say, well, why is he not throwing? Also, for some reason, this guy vomits way more money than almost any other enemy in the game. I could almost upgrade break as well again if I wanted. That was actually a really good fight. So you totally just earned like 8 million yen there. That could break these. I'm not gonna... That's an achievement though. Yep, there's so three little money safes there in that corner. Break him, you get money and also trophy. Oh, it's unforgivable. We found Sarah! Sarah! 
He's just here chilling, also in a white suit. Sera. Sera. Can you guess who the colleague Makoto is with is? Spoilers, it's Kiryu. The next two Kiryu chapters actually happened tw like eight hours before these ones? Yep, eight hours earlier. It says right at the start of chapter 30. <coughs> This is literally just the okay, prove yourself by beating me up. And then I will tell you stuff. If you win. Start of stun locking. I know he's gonna have a QT soon. Might as well do what I can. Yep. Eh, might as well stop. So he can't die until his QT after his QT. <coughs> This is a good fight. Yep. So, Sagawa comes in, shoots Sarah, before he can give him all the information. Majima's like, what the hell, dude? And then Sagawa's just like, I'll keep it real with you, Majima. I have no idea what is going on. Crime and punishment. So hey, eight hours earlier. Eight hours before Majima reached the Camellia Grove. And here's Kiryu in search and bore. Yeah, that guy's gone. Yeah, just, it just that guy just faded out, out of existence. He didn't even really fade, he just kind of snapped out like... Thanos style. Actually no, that would be more of a fade. You know the feeling? You live in something, boy. Also, Tachibana lost an arm. Okay, so we need to head to the video store, but because it's Yakuza, it is a pornographic video store. We got to see our old friend there, too. It was a pornography store. I was, I was buying, buying pornography. pornography. But before you go to the video shop... Uh, what am I doing? I'm gonna catch a cat. Just take my money. I don't want it. <coughs> you don't need that much. I don't know how much you need. Neither. Good strats. I don't know the exact figures, I just know at about what point we can probably buy it. I don't really need that until Kuze 4. Spoilers, you get to fight Kuze again soon. Shock. So, you go to the video store. This is where 
Jesus says to me, Mr. Levito is there. Of course he is. He's just browsing. Mm -hmm. That's what he does best. And they tell you that they will page you in 15 minutes. And if you remember earlier in the run, he had to wait uh, five real-time minutes. So he did that by going to the arcade. He's going to do that again, but first he has to go see where the van exploded earlier. It's like, oh, looks like something went down here. Yeah, it's um, probably not important. For that reason alone. Um, <coughs> cop sunshine, you can't go there. Well, you can go there and go, I ain't got no time for that. Um, but yeah, he's going to go to the, um, to the arcade again, play video games. Oh, oh perfect. Um, Nailed it. But you need, to, uh, because it's a 15 minute wait, he has to do the save, uh, start and quit twice because the game it counts as 8 to 10 real minutes. They haven't really worked it. They don't work they out the exact exactly. number, but they're like, it's, it's in this ballpark. You just do it twice. Yeah. And thankfully, you don't have to it's sit It's more than there. 5, but less than 15. <laughs> Which is the main. Chinese restaurant? Nah. Sega. Who so, likes Space Harrier? Yeah, he did Outrun last time. Now he's going to do Space Harrier and not talk to that girl, hopefully. <laughs> so you can befriend the girls in the in the Sega arcades, but you have to get high scores in Space Harrier and Outrun. <coughs> Outrun's hard. But you also get to see Kiryu make great expressions. They get really into it. Oh, baby. Uh... Just quit the game, please. Bye, Space Harrier. That game's as old as I am. Nice. minutes um used up <coughs> as you can tell that was totally 15 minutes of real time yep so again like last time as soon as i walk out this door hey i did it yay you didn't talk to a the real run now <laughs> get the pager and i don't think i have to actually look at it manually because he looks no, at it, it he looks at it it's like oh Yes, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool from that Sarah guy, the one we just beat up. Oh, no, 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 no. Take my money. Bye. That's why we have that ability. I mean, you have to get it. As well, he's right. obliged to get it, yeah. But it's helpful to have a margin, that's also. Yep. Overwatch controller pro. Yep, Overwatch controller pro coming up. So let's go. Go back to the video store. We're gonna go talk to Sarah. He's gotten Mark Makoto. We gotta take her back to where the empty mod is. You can see all the soft core in the background. Coming up next, PSX actually has a very different gameplay segment. I get to do the shooty shooty bang bang thing. Yeah, so for all the Kiri who never killed anyone, that's hilarious on this coming up. You thought it was funny before, just wait till you see this. When we ever get... Hmm? Hmm? Nope, there is absolutely no shooting going on on this highway whatsoever. None whatsoever. So, there's this cool scene where, like, Shibasawa, the third per guy who hasn't really done anything, just kind of drives up, shoots the cab driver, and then just drives off. And now, 
And now, yeah, you have to shoot these guys. What are we doing? They're just falling over, it's fine. They'll be fine. See, so he just slipped off his bike. That's fine. No, he's fine. Bike car. Yeah, it's like the Kiryu never killed anyone as ridiculous before, and now it's just obscene. It really doesn't matter that these people hit me. Oh no, not a missile on my taxi. I'm sure it matters on Legendary. On Legendary, it'll probably kill you. Also, the hitboxes on the drivers are really weird. That's okay. You can also do like a zoom in to like slow down time. Think like but high spoilers, but, uh, but it that's... actually is a waste of time to do because it just takes takes too long. Hello. All right. That was terrible. These ones you just want to target the driver. That guy gives you an achievement if you kill him. Oh no, I, I missed mean, him. Incapacitate him. He's still dead, obviously. We only want to get that minigun guy so we can shoot the driver afterwards. You don't have to worry about that other guy, he's gone now. It's amazing how many people in these boat bikes have. Not only has never killed a man, Kiryu is also a virgin, apparently. <laughs> according to canon. Or according to the uh, creator of the series. Never killed a man, never slept with a woman. <laughs> Did he really do anything wrong? He, he, he channeled his all his repressed energy into being the best. Oda. Um, so yeah, now there's a helicopter with, guy, with a guy with a minigun on it. It's Softman from um, San Andreas. <laughs> He's like, haha, you got so screwed. Kiri's like, nah, bro. Here's my solution. So hey, if you're ever in that situation, guys, just shoot it. So again, you can ignore that guy on the right, who cares? Hello? There we go. Also, for some reason, caught fire. It's a good thing they got out of the helicopter beforehand. Yeah, I'm glad they're all safe. <laughs> Absolutely fine. Also, where'd you get all those bullets, Kiryu? Or should I say Oda? So, there's also a whole thing where, like, how Makoto had been, like, sold to the Korean Mafia and abused. It turns out Oda was the person who sold her, and she recognizes his voice, but, like, can't quite place it, but is freaking out over it. And I think realizes during that sequence. It's all connected. Yes, because Oda then also reveals that, hey, guess who's related to Makoto? Yeah, so it turns out that uh, Tachibana and Makoto are brother and sister. <laughs> it's all connected. And also he's a traitor. Yep. Because he was in love with Tachibana. Because this is the series is dramatic and complicated. <laughs> but who cares, goons. So yeah, Shibasawa is finally showing his true colors. Meanwhile, I'd like to show these guys this drum can over here. No, Excuse they're just me. taunting you. Uh, hello? Please? Uh, you might want to save Makoto. Ah, uh, she's fine. <laughs> Is that the story about the Zerd? <laughs> Well, this is going on, I will actually 
really just shout out Softman in general for being an awesome guy. Yeah. And getting all this together. Our boy Softy. If it weren't for him, we wouldn't all be here, so. This guy with the chainsaw is going to end me, apparently. Oh, you missed. What a big mistake. Ow! Yeah, but apparently if you get hit by a chainsaw, it only like takes off a tiny bit of your health. Sorry, yeah, it's a circular saw. What am I talking about? Oh, right. That would make sense. Let's jump down here. Also, Makoto's starting to get her vision back at this point. <coughs> What's your Curious. next chapter? Uh, oh, yeah, 2 Oh, that's the park one. With the homeless people. Whoops. Let's go over here. I'm gonna grab this gas canister and fall over. Nice! So that's the end of chapter 13. Yep. Uh, Oda's dead. Oda's dead. People do die. So, yeah. Kiryu doesn't kill people, but people die. Because Oda had signed up with Shibasawa to do the deed, and he failed miserably at it, so Shibasawa's like, here's your reward. Also, here's Bullet 100 million head. yen. Also have some money. Ah, uh, nope, don't save. How yes. I menu, how I read menu, yes. yes. I'm glad we got through that. <laughs> so there's going to be a lot of back and forth. Oh, right, that's the fight I hate. When Nishiki's also there, it's like, hi. So you have to keep running and back and forth between the homeless people. Homeless people and Little Asia. Go to Little Asia. Because uh, Tachibana is currently lying down in a hospital bed. He needs to recover. Wait, when does Naogui show up? In this chapter. In this chapter. After we don't this see fight. him. We, we will tell you about him later. <laughs> when he appears like... for the first time in this story, uh, in the speed run. Yeah. I'll also, I really hate that camera angle. It just messes with your direction. I know I can just hold this down because, hey, here's a guy. It's like, hey, Tachibana is looking for you. You should come hang out. Tachibana's like, hey. And then you're here. like, hey, Tachibana, your sister's here. And he's like, oh, Makoto, I'm so looking forward to seeing her again. It's going to be amazing. Tachibana family found him. Oh, no. So what are we going to do? We're going to go over here. We're going to grab this cart. And we're going to swing it around a bit. Oh, they're all not happy at all. Yeah, the game cannot keep up with that kind of shenaniganery. See? That might have been the fastest I've done that room. That was good. That was really good. Oh, whoops. No, no. I beat these people up again. Can I really not skip this? Wow, these notes are wrong. Who wrote this shit? <laughs> I'll throw some money later. <clears throat> yeah, we'll skip this unimportant cutscene of a hitman hitting these two. So Kiryu just got shot in the gut. Yeah. He got shot and he just gets up and walks it off. He just walks it off three hours later like, ah. where's Tachibana? He handed himself into the Dojima family to save Kiryu, basically. He gets shot by someone who is not important. <laughs> Completely and utterly unimportant. Uh, hello. These corridors are so awkward to run through. Come on. Hello? There we go. Me. Nee. 
And now there's Doja, my family. But there's also my boy Nishki. And he's here. And then they do a dramatic both ripping off their shirts. Look no at us reason. topless, man. Like, there's no reason to have to do that dramatic stuff in this fight. Apart from to be like, look at us with our, our junior Yakuza. And we don't have our tattoos inked in properly yet. These guys have a lot of health, by the way. And Nishki's is a cop, so there's a joke that he's basically just magic cop. He might as well be. He might as well be. The final boss fight of Yakuza 1 at Slash Kiwami is a dragon versus Magikarp. I don't want to use my heat gauge because I'm going to need it for the next fight, although I guess I could just spend my money on it, uh, healing items on it anyway. A uh, hello, Especially can you like stop? Here. Uh, don't forget to buy the upgrade. Yeah, no. I could probably do that right now. Just keep picking him up. I could do a heat move with him right now, but I won't. That went a lot better than it really should have. Don't forget to buy the upgrade now. I'm gonna do it right now. Well, no, I'm gonna skip first. Hey, look, they found their shirts. That's yeah, very Yeah, that was actually quite quick. Mm -hmm. Alright, so the most important thing is this one. That's the one, isn't it? Yeah, this yep. one. When you decide you can't take any more, dislocate both of the enemy's shoulders. <coughs> so, I don't know if you guys remembered uh, when Miss Tatsu was doing her little look at me, do the cool thing thing. She, it was totally the last thing she did. Start. But you'll see it soon. Very soon. It may be the last thing he does too. So, we're gonna go tell Makoto, hey, we found your brother. Go, oh, actually, no, we did, but then he got kidnapped. We're gonna go find him. Bye, Makoto. And she's like, okay, I hope you guys do okay. Nishiki stays behind. Well, actually, no, he doesn't. He comes along. What am I talking about? Kind of all blurs together after a while. So we've got to pay, find a payphone. I wonder where we can find one of those. <laughs> Two ten thousand gil. Uh, yen. Gil. gil. Final Fantasy Yakuza Zero. I play that. So our beloved information broker is like, Hey, I know where they're hiding. In the Crescendo building. Go to the crescent or building. <coughs> so, who remembers our friend from chapter one? Yeah, that one guy who kept appearing. <laughs> we'll, we'll point you out to him very shortly. <laughs> There is an entire cutscene where he's totally alive, but um, we skipped that one. That's Kiryu. Wow, oh, they know who you are. <laughs> the actual Kiryu? Let's go. So Tachibana is being tortured for information, and the guy enjoying the torture is none other than our friend from Chapter One. Yoneda. But he does a bit too much. Yeah, and he accidentally kills Tachibana. So hey, that's him dead on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> See, we didn't kill him. Kusei killed his own right hand man. So killing the guy who had all the information. And Kiryu is not happy. Oh oh ooh ooh. Good scene. Hell yeah. Wait for it. Yeah. So yeah, he's got goons here again. Also, your native remains dead on the floor during this fight. Yeah, because they realize he kind of messed up here. He went a bit overboard. 
Hey, Kuse. Well, let me demonstrate this move. An entire game. Alright, Nishki's here. Yeah, it's not important. Kuse, come here. No. Oh, I could've shot that off, hey. Well, Nish... Oh, that's not him. No. I was hoping, hoping to use that on Kuze again, but I guess not. Because now Kuze is kind of really dangerous. You know what? Let's see. Um, no, no, yeah, just use these. Let's get my heat gauge back. Do that. Ooh. He's taunting you. There we go. Ooh. I just relocated him back, it's fine. There he's gone. Bye now Tuesday. I just get rid of the greens. Nishi, why are you not helping? What a clothesline. And so after that fight, Kuze's like, if, if you've done anything to Makoto, I am going to bury the entire Tojo clan. And Kuze's like, oh, let's see. So Makoto gets to find Tachiban in just in time for him to die. Yep. Sad face. It's a sad moment, but we don't have time for it. Majima has to be in. Yeah. I oh, do right. too. Kachumagi. The fastest QT in this entire game is coming up. Which I may fail because I'm not very fast at this hour. It's also just very fast. So, Majima's in Kamurocho because, right, hey, Makoto's somewhere here. Actually, which one do you grab? Yeah. No, that's fine. Yeah. Don't say you grab. Yeah. <coughs> oh no. 10,000 yen. How oh. will I cope? So, yeah, the only lead they got when they shot Sarah in the back was. Um, Someone by Kir the name of Kazuma Kiryu. Who works for this place called the Tachibana Real Estate. And they're like, hmm. Well, my only lead is the Champion District. So, let's go hang out in there for a bit. See what we find. Is that two different mobs? No, I just think it was weird. Um, top right of this section, is that? Yeah, top right. And then leave. He's like, hey, do you know anything about them? Like, yeah. They haven't been around as much. Like, oh, okay. Now you can just walk out and go. Mm. Well, we got our information. Meanwhile, the Shimano family is here. Shimano is not really relevant to this game. Nope. He's playing the long con for Yakuza 1. Or he becomes very relevant. Oh, 
Shimo family. He's spreading out a lot. That's rude. After having a chat with Shimano about stuff. Because at this point, Sagawa's like, yeah, I have no idea what's going on. Let's go check in with my bro, Shimano. Shimano's like, I have a really ugly face that I'm not going to show you in this, in this speed run. <laughs> he is very cartoonish. Yeah, they say. Yep. Oh, well. Let's go find this Nishki fellow. Oh yeah, so at this point Majima is really cut up and bruised because he's completely lost. He doesn't know where his, the love of his life, Makoto, is. Totally not in love with her. And he just let these random well, thugs on the street beat him up. To someone else between zero and one anyway. Yeah. But he let these random thugs on the street just beat him up because he just, he just lost the will to care. What's with this? Game no like frames. We're gonna play Kash uh, Kashwagi, who we've barely really seen. He's just kind of there. He was in the background with Nishki when um, the entire Doshima family. Did Majima family just slide across the floor, or was it just me? He probably did. He's in Majima, it's fine. He's like, I'm looking for a K yeah. Nishki. <coughs> tell you what, we fight and then I tell you things. Why does no one just tell people stuff normally? It's the 80s. Yeah, we'll go with that. Majima. That is literally the fastest QT in this entire game. <coughs> At least on easy. I see on harder difficulties, it really doesn't matter. They're all fast. I was say. We can just punch your bat away. Change stances. Nope. Here, yeah, have a baseball bat to the face. Bing. C. He's like, okay. Well, I guess you might find him at this bar. Yeah, so now we're going to go to the bar. And Majima's like, I'm just going to knock you out. Bye. Is that goons? Oh, whatever. Oh. 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 Oh.
innocent people. We got speed running today. This carry you guy. I'm sure he's not important. Skip. Yeah, Nishki is here. So you ask Raynor whether Kiri is here, and Nishki's like, I know that name, who do you, why do you want him? He gets a cool theme song. those two very entertaining QTEs in this fight. Sit down. Nishki, surprisingly enough, is a chump. Ha 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 ha. So if you let Rainer hit you with a bottle, there's another trophy. Free of charge. Nice swing, no ding. So there is a second QTE where Rainer tries to throw um, Nishiki a healing potion. And if you get that one right, you steal it and heal yourself and Nishiki's still stuck in his low HP status. You're like, yep. Thanks, Rainer. Uh, we beat him, beat him up too fast. Fine, Makoto. Where could she possibly be? Is there another... No, I have to go straight there. Away. Yeah. Spoilers, she's at the empty lot. The focal point of this entire series. What if I ran into one of them, Mr. Shake? I don't think you can run into the other Mr. Shakedowns. Is that here, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. I think you've gone. Oh, no, you're right. No. Yeah, too far. That's fine. Sneak in this way. What? What? I was pressing square! Oh, well. How dare you break your combo? Yo. What is this? That's better. Come closer, dude. No? Okay. What? Uh, that'll do. <laughs> I have no depth perception at the moment. I don't know how. <coughs> yeah, this works anyway. I think I am. Yes, Shimano mentioned oh, there's the whole Shimano. Empty That's the one time we see him. Otherwise, not relevant. So, not irrelevant to this video game. So, Makoto's here. We find out she's starting to get a vision back, but she doesn't quite recognize Nagama. That's the end of chapter 15. So, we're almost at the end of the game. There's this chapter, and then there's the finale. Proof of love. No. Uh, now's a good time for plugging or reading donations or anything, because there is a very slow sequence coming up. <laughs> so, yeah, I have to walk. 
to I have to walk with Makoto, but it's not like I'm holding her. It is she is walking on her own. But because she is still like having trouble seeing, she is very slow. And I can't get ahead of her because she won't catch up. And she will just fall down randomly. And she takes a moment to get back up. So yes, feel free to watch your step, that's more. what she's like trying that. to do. Still got a bid war to have a war even about for the naming of a character in Lufia 2. Currently the only bid is Jelly at $11.90. If you want any name that you want as the character before <coughs> the start of the run, just donate more than that. Make this actually a war. Oh my gosh, she is falling down a lot. Makoto, please. This is the most I've seen her fall down. So we got to the Takayaki stand, but it's really popular. Turns out everyone's having Takayaki night. Now we have to keep walking. And unfortunately, none of this is skippable. You just have to. This is a reminder that we are raising money for Beyond Blue. It's a great Australian charity now that, that deals with depression and anxiety. We are or we are close to smashing last year's record or last year's donation amount. So. <coughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't think I've seen her fall this much before. Yeah. Get out of the way, drunk an idiot. Please don't fall again before the stand. Please. Please. <coughs> Stairs. Oh, I went the wrong way. Well, see the crowd. Yeah, see the crowd. That's exactly it. RNG manipulation. <coughs> Thank God. <laughs> That's over. Now we can actually start the chapter. Haha. <laughs> uh -huh. So they go eat some takoyaki, talk, Maj uh, Makoto's like, I'm going to take on the whole Dojima family, and Majima's like, are you serious? <laughs> you idiot. Please don't be hasty. So this can take only like a few seconds to go get the Takoyaki and get back. But Spoiler, she will be gone when we get back. This is a shock to literally nobody. Ooh. 
Yep. <clears throat> He's like, yeah, you know that lady that's in there? Yeah, I got a message for her. For you. Well, oh, okay. Meet me here. What, tomorrow? I can't remember. <clears throat> so she said to meet him at the empty lot. Meet her at the empty lot again. Is that the wrong way to run us? Yeah. It's in such an awkward position, though. It's like there's no... Like dead center. Taxis. They didn't introduce taxis in the center of the city until later in the series. Yeah. That would have been nice. Whoa. 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 Ooh. Out of my way. Oh, God. Sweet. Success this time. Take my money. I'm out of here, suckers. <coughs> Yeah. Swap. So we switch back and forth for our respective final parts. I'll play like the first third, and then it'll be it'll the game will literally tell you this is the point of no return. You sure you don't want to do side stories? Blah 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 blah. blah. Second, you're not Makoto. You're a bunch of goons. Oh, yeah, she was so family. <coughs> There's Nishitani who just died. That was him dying. Well, that was him no selling like 11 bullets and then dying. So he's run off to meet George Ma. So we'll let you have your turn first, Marshmallow, and then we'll have our turn. It's like a real RPG. Just like a real RPG. So after we've beaten the game, we're just going to jump back into another file and just do it there. We've got it saved. It'll be our karaoke. grand finale. Yeah, we thought we'd just basically bookend the run with karaoke. <laughs> mm. 
No, we're no I'm not going to go play pool. <laughs> Sorry, Roth. Actual national pool champion, David the Roth Ruffle. Who's coming up next? Who's coming up next playing the <laughs> greatest video game of all time? <laughs> Ancient Cave! Ancient Cave! Isn't it? Hmm? I keep brushing my face against the mic. So we went out to this building. Find out some stuff about Makoto. <coughs> Sam Majima really doesn't care about anything else. He just wants her to be safe. So Makoto's grand plan for the Dojima family, having found out that they killed her brother, is... Hey, I, I'll give you the empty lot, but you give me the heads of your three lieutenants on a plate. You're like, yeah, really? That, that doesn't, doesn't You're asking well. the Yakuza to bow down to this poor defenseless little girl. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Majima's kind of just, you know what, I'm angry. Yeah, yeah we don't need this. Oh, Remember to heal. <coughs> oh, what? What? Stop blocking. So, Majima turns up just in time to see the Dojima response to her plan. She and got then he shot. Rips off his shirt. And he got mad. And this is where Majima literally just snaps. I could have that much money to pull out of people. Yeah, it never works for me when I'm beating the crap out of people. Where's my money? Just gotta go, Mr. Shakedown. Mini boss. Hello, mini boss. How are ya? Hey, hey, how are you? Hey, hi, how are ya? <coughs> guy also knows how to block. Sometimes. What? Wow, he caught up really quickly. I'm... I'm the... Ow. There we go. Get down. Wow, he's not taking much damage from that. Oh well. Finish you. Was just being a jerk. Now Majima's sad. Majima's upset. His girl is, well, not dead. She was shot, but not fatally. By a hit. It's fine. <coughs> well, they just actually sent her to hospital. Yeah, she actually walked it off. And now, Benelli. 
We are finale here. What? Performing for you. <laughs> Black and white. It's a good song. Put your hands together. Alright, that was Majima. Whatever. Bye. <laughs> it's back to Kiri, you like now. And now, back to Kiri. So this is the only point in the game where you start a chapter with whatever health you had previously. For some reason. Well, not for some reason, because this is just immediate, literally immediately after that last Kuze fight for Kiryu. Where he was very awkwardly holding Tachibana while Makoto was hugging him in his death. Hmm? No, no, he's alive. Nishi's Nishi. alive. There's so many similar names. Nishitani died. Nishitani Nish died. That's the crazy guy that uh, Majima got to fight. Nishiki dies in the next game as the final boss. Spoilers. <laughs> Kiryu didn't kill him. What? Let's see if I can remember where I'm supposed to go. Find a pavement. You're supposed to go to Malaysia. Yeah. I've taken the wrong turn already, haven't I? No, no, you should be okay. I always mess this up every time. Yeah, I could have gone There's like least. a whole bunch of pay phones, but he wants to go to... This Mr. Shakedown! Where is he? I didn't even see him. He was behind you. Oh, well, he's gone now. Uh, you've gone past I went later. past it. Let's go say yeah, hi. Yeah, go say hi to Mr. Shakedown. No. I was supposed to approach Little Asia from the south, but basically you might as well grab the one payphone in this area because that's where the next um, checkpoint is anyway. For this. Get through the door. Yes. Yeah, go nuts. We have a donation from Bakuman84 uh, who gave $3.83. I want to send another greeting to Liam. My contribution will be for the Drake percentage incentive for Nightfire. Good luck, Liam. I believe he's not here at the moment, um, but he'll be here later. Well, probably just before his run. a whole bunch of going around the laser. Gonna go to West Park. There's a little bit of housekeeping for Kira here. You guys say hi to Nishiki. So basically the entire Dojima family is like, we're gonna take down the entire Kazuma family, which includes this man. It includes this man. It includes Kashwagi. And Cosmo, who's in jail. The ship star was basically taken over. So because uh, the Dojima family had assumed that Makoto died from that gunshot to the chest, um, that they just basically apparently attained the deed to the empty lot by proxy. That's how it works, right? That's you shoot someone and then you just automatically get their, um, their land title. My land. I work now. in conveyancing. <laughs> so the, the story checks out, right? Yeah. That's true. Hmm? Yeah. Well, those guys were just. Those guys were mostly goons, so I don't know if they owned it too much. Let me grab this signpost. And I'm gonna get tasered. Nice. Nope. Okay, that was amazing. Alright, we'll just do it this way. <coughs> I don't want to use heat gauge here because I'm going to need it for the next fight. Oh, Nathan McGee, no. Ow! Stop it. Okay, that's fine. <coughs> so 
So we're going to go check up on the Kazuma family office now that we know that there is a manhunt for the entire family clan. Um, the game railroads you to run there. I think you literally can't see Mr. Shakedown anymore, so... Yeah, so hey, we... We almost ran into him a couple of times. Like right then. <coughs> No, no, I mean like, but I mean, I'm oh, sorry, I meant before that uh, fight, because he just, he's just roaming. I have a highlight on my um, Twitch stream. He's there right he there! Is. There he no. is! No, 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 no. Excuse me, sir. No, just go fight him. It doesn't take too long. Yeah, it will actually take too long. I'm curious, tired of his shenaniganery. So, we are approaching the Cosmo family office. Hey, who do you think's gonna show why up? is there a cutscene before here? Wow. Surely can't be recurring boss. No, specifically <coughs> the one we fought four times already. Yep, this is his last hurrah. He even gets a theme song upgrade for it. Which is actually also really good. He starts blabbering on about what's a man got left other than his pride, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure we shredded that up in the sewer. Case in point. Yep. Kill me. One last time, let's go Kuse. So, walk up to me Kuse, come on. Oh, he wow, okay fine. Hey, remember this move? Oh, he remembers. He remembers. Come on. Ah, uh, psych. You can tell it's his final fight because he immediately has his aura up. You might want to heal. Oh my gosh, yes. I hope you don't have enough healing items for the end. I can pick them up. Oh, there'll be a few to pick up during the gauntlet itself. I'm just waiting for him to actually attack. He's too smart for me. He knows. He, he knows what I'm trying to do. He, he witnessed it too much in the last one. Now he knows. No solve that. See you. Bye. Ooh, I'm not gonna have heat. Oh well. Ooh, wing it. Can't skip this. So I check anyway. <laughs> Lieutenant. He's finally gained Kuze's respect. And vice versa. Yeah, and I think Kuze just goes to prison and is never <coughs> mentioned again. As far as I can tell. Kuze is my like, man. He sure showed me. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? <laughs> Shibasawa was trying to get power all alone. So, we're not having the final boss fight in the empty lot, because it's not the Millennium Tower yet. And there's also not much room for it. There's not much room. <laughs> we need something grandiose. We need something more impressive for a final boss arena. Which we'll see shortly. But first... 
This is the point of no return. Should save. <laughs> Game's like literally, hey, you got some loose sands you'd like to do? Alright, you better pass it to me so I can do all the dramatic Majima planning. Watch closely, guys. This is this is some this is some intense speed tech here. Kettle's boiling. I'm just gonna stare at it. <coughs> Can I see a thing? No. You just walk forward, prep mash X. There you go. That was that, sick. That, that, that was the speed tech. <laughs> <laughs> so when we first did our run, uh, if you just stream through the app, this whole part's blocked. So in our first run, the whole ending was blocked from being streamed. Like, okay, guess I'll go buy an Elgato, and I did. Cause that's the solution to any problem, spend way too much money. That's how this game works. <laughs> so, <coughs> I don't have heat gauge. I'm gonna... I'm gonna get some over here. Oh, don't shoot me. What we want to do, you don't have to fight any of these guys. I need my heat gauge. You know what? I'm gonna use one of these. So the idea is to not go back to the menu. Do this move again. We, we love that move. And then we just run away from the rest of the goons. Bye. Good fight outside. Oh no, there's a gun guy here too, isn't there? It's the next room. There he is. Oh, there he is. Ah, nice. You might want to grab that health out of me. Oh no, yeah, I'm grabbing everything. Also, guns kill people. I mean, sorry, incapacitate yeah, them. Yeah, we don't kill Kiryu and never killed a man. Nishki, why did you grab him? He was going to get got. Yeah, get got. Uh, oh, he's about to shoot me. Haha, <laughs> psych. Oh, right, there's, there's two, two of them. Guys, yeah. They're there were. Now. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd prop him up again. He's just doing lame little jabs. Like, <coughs> 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 so, yeah, when I say, if, when I say grandiose, it's just a cruise liner in the middle of the. Tokyo. Hmm, what a convenient place for tables and chairs. Look at me, I look like a mini boss. Ooh. He did that last night too. He did. Well, the night before at this point, I guess. Anyway, sit down. <laughs> I don't have heat gauge. Also, the boat's on fire, I guess. Yeah, it's not important. Um, do I have enough for him? Yeah, you do. Oh, no. You uh, well, let's... Do it the old fashioned way. Look at me use the style I never actually used throughout the run. Whoops. Alright, so up here there's a few people with guns. They're annoying. Yep, don't shoot me, please. I don't care about your chair. I see you. Ow. Ow. 
Is the guy with a gun the only one left? Yep. What? I. I swear you quit step. Uh oh. Anyway, see ya. Ah, uh, he's getting a little hairy. Mm. You have a couple of health items, so. Yeah, and there's three more to pick up after this mob. Yeah. Three dudes. Oh, what am I doing? I'm still in rush style. Get out of that. Okay. Hope they all come towards me. They're not coming towards me. Oh no! Ooh, ooh, heal, yeah. heal, heal. Yeah. All right. Everything's fine. We. Waiting for us at the top of the stairs. You will never find out. <laughs> yeah, you won't. Well, you will. But meanwhile, <coughs> meanwhile, back at the back at the place where you did the first gauntlet of the game. Does this room look familiar? <laughs> the table just goes flying. Yeah, that's fine. Of course, Majima's grand plan of attack is to take revenge on the entire Dojima family, so he goes to the Dojima HQ, as you would expect. He's like, I'm just going to take this entire organization down by myself. Oh, really? What? Oh, me! Yeah, these wow. guys are kind of annoying. There we go. Now it's been so good for the whole run. Yeah, let's run past them. Yeah, well, guys. I'm trying. So it's like one of the very few parts where you don't have to actually kill the people in this room. Just move on. No, incapacitate. Incapacitate, sorry. Never killed a man. I hate this room because there's a dude right here with a gun. Yep. And all these people are blocking the door, as you do. Come out. guy guarding the door. Please stop. <coughs> he tried shooting. Same guy. Yep. Upstairs. This is the one I will probably mess up. Not that I haven't messed these up before. Already broke well.
shotgun guy here. He got me getting out of my um my animation. I can use the shotgun to take out those guys before, but I don't trust myself with it because I'm really bad with the guns in this game. I was gonna say, was that shotgun this, still there? This room's the worst. This is the worst room. Two guys with pistols. And this guy likes interrupting. Ow. Really? Can you please really? stop? This is how bad I went last night, too. I mean, the night before. <coughs> oh, I thought the other gunner was still alive. No, no, I got him early. It wasn't as bad, because I got that first gun guy really quick. This guy can block better than the, like, the next bosses, by the way. for end game. Okay. So, we got the three dudes. Kuze showed up a lot for it, um, for Kiryu many times. Um, Shibasawa revealed that he was behind it all, or trying to get the most power. Awano was just kind of there being like, I just like being a Yakuza for the money and the women. And now he's just going to show up to be part of Majima's final boss fight. <laughs> Just casually. Hello, I'm here. I'm one of the three lieutenants, I think. Yeah, one of those cutscenes we skipped during chapter 16. Also, if you've he did, they have scene, a little you'd scare. also see the other guy. Oh, yeah. Lao Gui is there. I don't know if you guys noticed that ugly guy, but you'll see him soon. <coughs> There's the last three <coughs> bosses of the game coming up next in a succession. Also, he just rips the shirt off, of course. You can tell he's a boss character. Yeah. Nodima also ripping his shirt off. I'll be sending all you building and family buddies along to meet you in hell. So, just like every other boss fight in the game. Get down. This combo is super effective. Yeah, apparently it doesn't work on regular enemies. Well. Look at the power of that punch. <coughs> punch was like, get out of here. I keep messing up the combo. Okay, I've never seen that. That Either. was cool. This is the worst, in contrast <coughs> to everything else being like the best it's ever been, this is the worst it's ever been. I have never had an Awana this bad before. Yeah. 
Sam. Sit down. That's a one So, there's the guy who shot Tachi or who shot Kiryu in like an earlier chapter that we didn't actually see. <laughs> Dojima just completely no sells this, just goes, yeah, whatever, walks away. So here's a hitman. Here's this guy. He was the guy who shot Kiryu. He's also the guy that shot uh, dead, the guy from right at the start of the game that Kiryu beat up. And he's just kind of here as like Majima's final boss. <coughs> he's made out to be the greatest hitman in mainland Japan, uh, China? No, China. China. Um, all he's killed in this entire game is some guy who was almost dead and some guy who was almost dead. Good combo. He couldn't even kill a defenseless, was blind for most of her life, girl. So if she was able to actually keep that combo going, it would actually have... Actually, no, wouldn't have mattered. You still have to see both these QTEs, but... Um, he would be down to a state where he could just be sneezed on coming out the door. But again, he's being very generous. Nope, still being nice. Nice. And that's yeah. my part of the rundown. Nice. There's one, one more fight to go. Fight. The final boss of the game. So, time will come up on the last quick time event of this, but we'll, put, we'll point it out when it's coming up. There's Makoto, she's just kind of there in a wheelchair. Shibusawa is the dragon of Dojima. But if anyone knows much about Yakuza, Kiryu becomes the dragon of Dojima, so how do you think he got that title? Beating the hell out of this guy. I love that <laughs> intro. That is a really good intro, it's really solid. You're in rush though. Yeah, why? Stop that. We'll do our trident. He's got so a lot of health. <coughs> But that did just take down a whole health bar in one. And this should go to the second phase. No? Okay. Never mind. So at the end of it, Kiryu screams, Shibzawa! That's pretty hard. So feel free to yell that with her. I probably will, even though my voice is just about dead. I will not. <laughs> Knows beast style. Yep. I wish they'd shown him to be like more than just like the last part of the game is like, by the way, Spiked. I'm behind it. I haven't been able to show that for like four hours. I got to show that early you on. show it on the final boss. Oh, I was about to heal, but. Well, we'll do this first. This is really cool. Take this bag. Not gonna lose. Well, I'm not gonna repeat that one. Yeah. I am the dragon of Dojima. Hang on. Just, just hold tight there for a sec, Shibasawa. That's very nice of you. Now he's got the dragon aura. If, if um, 
get the dragon stuff, that's the aura you get around it. So what I want to do is reduce it just a little bit. Now this should hopefully lower his uh, health down far enough that the final QTE will not repeat itself. Yep. And it will good. not. Alright, so time will be coming up in just a second. As soon as he hits this. Well, not this, but when, 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 when you see him yell at Shibusawa. So if you had too much health, you would do this QT twice. Time. Here it comes. And time. Done. Shibusawa! <laughs> Um, so, that's Yasuza Zero. We've got one more thing to show off, though, before we end. Mm. Let me just quit out to the main. Yeah, yeah quit out to the main. do it this way. Um, so there's the whole thing. En enjoy the Kiwami background for a second. <laughs> Which I totally now, spent money on. Do you want to do the Do you want to do the rhythm game, or do you want me to do it? Considering it's on Majima's side, I feel like you should. Okay. <laughs> So yes, we had two donation incentives. Second one we can do right now before yeah, we sign Yeah, we did the first off. one at the start of the run, but we thought we'd save this to the end just to leave on a high. I mean, that was a pretty cool boss fight, but... It's like, yeah, Yakuza story is pretty good, but the side content... <laughs> that That's what stellar. everyone signed up for. Continue. One. Still yeah, so every step Majima things. takes in this, he makes some money. You've gone past it. What? I think it's the next one. Oh, sorry. Well, well, I mean, we have to show this anyway. But. Inconspicuous bar. Ooh, invite a girl. I'm yeah. going to sing my heart out. So I don't think we can sing this one, girl. No. So this is one of the greatest parts of Yakuza Zero right here. Yep. So if you haven't decided to buy Yakuza 0 on Steam yet, this might convince you.
<laughs> uh, so coming up next, we have. <laughs> yeah. no, Not on this stream, that's Mr. Right at all. Um, coming up next, we have Lufia 2 with The Rock. So, David and Roth, Ancient Cave is a great fun Oops. run to watch, so stick around. And yeah, I hope everyone enjoys. Thank you very enjoyed. much, y'all. Thank you all for Hanging putting out with up us. with us. <laughs>